Yeah, I put a bunch of, I don't know, just random stuff put, on there. Uh, what's your face on there? Thumbnails of her and then get all the views Hannah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, milk her like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Tommy. 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 Come, come this way would be easier. Step back and soak it all in, huh? This This way would be easier, right? There's less stuff. It's up to you. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Tommy smokes. Hey, Tommy. What's your name? Thomas Michael, probably. Yeah, how did you know that? Because really? you're a fucking, because you're a dumb Italian. Tommy Mike, Thomas Michael Scabelli is like, you know. Thomas Michael Joseph, we include my oh. confirmation. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> but it's Why funny. did you choose Joseph? Because uh, he's a dumb name. giddy. Grandpa's name? Well, one grandpa was Michael, other grandpa was Joseph. Anthony, yeah, yeah Joseph, Michael, it's, you know. Anthony is my dad's middle name. He's Perfect. Thomas Anthony. So <laughs> you've really covered them all. Pretty much. <laughs> you mm. greasy I mean, I, I can't really like make fun of that because mine's Connor. And yeah, it's you're on the other side. Connor, John Connor Feidelberg. It's no, no, it's Connor. My my confirmation name. John Henry is my middle name. Oh, Connor right. is my confirmation name, and I strictly chose that because it's uh, one of the characters in Boondock Saints. So. Oh, that's right. The worst. <laughs> one of the most embarrassing things about a person they can admit that they, yeah, they yeah. picked a permanent type thing, whether it's a tattoo or a name or whatever, based on the, the Boondock, Boondock Saints. <laughs> I I did think as a kid, it, like my confirmation name was going to matter a lot more. Oh, like yeah. I feel like oh, when yeah. they're to you got to pick your confirmation name. That it just it doesn't matter at all. At all. Uh, I, I could have told your you guys it was like really doesn't matter. Jamal right now. And it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> that, I, when I was a kid, I wanted foresight. to change my name to um, ca- um, Steelers quarterback. Ben? Uh, C- Cordell. Cordell. Yeah. I want to change it to Cordell Stewart. <laughs> your first oh. name. I want to change my first name to Cordell. Yeah, I awesome. was in CCD. Like I would like sign my CCD like um, fucking like worksheets and stuff like that. I'd write Cordell, Cordell Feidelberg. I used to like, they'd they'd be like, you have to fucking stop doing that. Like this. That's not your old? name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, elementary school. It's funny that you never, you don't realize. And like, then I want to change it to Terrell. Once, well, Cor- once Cordell got shot down, I want to be Terrell Davis. It's like, and the, you know, the, it, you think of it in, in your in your mind at that age. You're just like, I like these football players. And on, you know, the CCD instructor's mind, they're like, this fucking kid just wants to be a black dude. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking it's so much deeper than that. What is, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had the foresight. Uh, to know that confirmation names, you know, to be a little funny, be like, "Mom, I'm, right. I'm Jamal." Oh, I walked downstairs Kevin with Francis the Boondock Jamal Saints Francis. DVD case in my hand, yeah. and I but, was like, "I was like, it's gonna be like, Connor." Just yeah, so your, you know. your your parents were like, "He's so fucking stupid," <laughs> but the name you picked was fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you came in, if the name was like Shalali or something, you'd be like, "Well, all right, relax." You know, you uh, could just lie. like maybe I'll just start lying. There's no proof of your confirmation. Well, name what, when do you even have to say it? I, Never. If like, somebody asks, where would you? you? <laughs> That's about it. My, my confirmation, even my confirmation itself, was achieved under false pretenses because I, I just, I forged all my community service. Oh, big time. Like, like oh, oh. not, 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 oh, not I like I didn't go and mail that. it in. I forged the papers that said I even went anywhere. You created all. the papers? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, f- that's, I forged that's it all. Awesome. I, Shay the other day uh, uh, forged a signature. Didn't even know it. It was great when she does. When you do homework, you have to have your parents sign yeah, it. Yeah. And she, she that used to only be when you failed, and that's when I learned how right. to do my dad's signature. Which turns out I now have the exact same signature. <laughs> funny enough, <laughs> I, I bet <laughs> my mom had such a distinct. Actually, I'll write it out in a second. But Shay said, um, "I was like, did you do your homework, baby?" And she was like, "Yes, I did. Like all my math and all my English, and I even um, wrote your name for you." Like thinking that she was like <laughs> doing a favor. Extra credit. I was like, that's not how this works, <laughs> baby. That's not how. Also, Keegan bombed his standardized tests. <laughs> I um. Don't think that my five-year-old son knows what it is or how to do it. Rhyming, not his thing. He got a <laughs> zero a percent on rap. Yeah, he, he will <laughs> zero he out of hundred. Not be a rapper. Zero, I guess there's zero, not really. It was like it doesn't a, really matter what it's out of. It's it, zero. It was like a chart of you know these fucking standardized tests. We how you? Uh, what is he getting for? How are you doing standardized tests at four? That's what I'm saying. He's five now, but it's like five. yeah, these were called the map growths. So it's like a, you know early detection sort of thing like is your kid fucking stupid we got to find out now uh zero on that test isn't great <laughs> yeah 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 so like counting he got a 20 percent <laughs> but i'm like bro i know you know how to count like, I've, i watched him count so like i've seen him count but like higher than shay who's older one time he got high he kept going it was like a, almost like a tommy chant he was like <clears throat> 
31, 32, <laughs> 33. <laughs> and he clicked, and you just keep going back. I was going to say, once like, you. <laughs> I can do it. I can go on forever. Once you get the hang of it, counting exceptionally <laughs> easy. <laughs> so One of the easy, easiest man. things you can do. Like, I remember thinking, like, how could I count that high? And it's like, it's not high. It's just Re- repet- a different, repeating. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a different number. Uh, but yeah, on phonological awareness. Matching, what does that mean? Uh, uh, is that rhyming? Phonological. It phonics. Means like your iPhone. Phonics. Like, how good are you? Good. <laughs> uh, th- this is max. Phonics. Ma- phonics. Yeah, oh. it's yeah. like sound basically. So I, they did matching sounds, which I guess would maybe be like you hear like a a drum, and you have to say, "Oh, that's the sound of a drum." I guess. Or like a maca. You like that's a chicken. I don't know. This sounds really hard. And I don't yeah. know what a drum sounds like necessarily. <laughs> well, maybe it's a bad example. Right? Uh, a snare drum with a hi hat. Yeah. And then they did rhyming sounds, which I'm assuming is probably like you know, what rhymes with bet? Is it get, got, or you know? And I and he got a fat goose egg. Um, you think you'd even stumble into one of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Matching sounds. So maybe the hard part. He got a twenty percent on on rhyming. Okay. But either way, um, rhyming's I hard too. For being honest. Eh. You know, I mean, there are the easy ones like bet and get, but then there there are some that are fucking. Okay, like, so wait, those don't even at the end they don't they're not the same letters. How is that rhyme? <laughs> so we've been talking about doing. We're gonna get it. Actually, I have it in my possession. We just haven't done it yet. Uh, you will not be invited to this because you'll win it and you'll be annoying about it. Okay, but sounds about kinda, right. <laughs> I think we kind of did it on or lowering the bar. Did we take a test, like young kids' tests? Uh, we did like we did a math elementary school math test, okay. like multiplication tables, which I did win. Yeah, I thought I won that. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, something that I uh, I crushed though, but I don't think you were in it or something. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Um, no, like you were you were in it too. It's just I don't care about these things, and it doesn't make my personality. Right, so right, right. It. it does do that <laughs> yeah. for me. Uh, there is something you beat me. I don't remember it, what it was. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, was, the, it, it, wasn't was, the, it was like it was like school related, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been like we took like a third grade test, yeah. maybe or something at some point. And I, I think I dominated you on the peg game too. Oh yeah, 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 shit yeah. Out of you, I think. But then I learned how to do it uh, nope. so for the lowering the bar tournament. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, yeah. what, if you like memorize it, it's like the same thing. Yeah, every there's time. like a pretty, yeah. it's like a basic thing. Uh, anyway, um, so we're gonna do this test because we're dumb and you know shit's different now. I tried to help Shay with her homework the other day, and I like. I, we did it completely wrong the first time. We had to erase the whole fucking page and do it over again. I mean, they make you do math very hard. Now. So it's it, like the, the, the common the core question or was something? nine plus five. And the, yes, but what they nice. want you to do, or let's do it was seven plus five, John, 13, 12, Close. 12, 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> what they want you to do is get to 10. So they want you to take three out of the five and add that to the seven. So you get 10 and then the two remaining from the five, cause you took three out, right. you add to the 10, it's 12. And I'm like, I can't. And so they said, draw your counters to add this up. So they make them draw like one, two, one circle, two circle, three circle, four circle. And then you count it all up. And I was like, and it makes sense. But I'm also like, you know what's easier than this? Just like kind of memorizing that seven plus five is 12. Yeah. Like, just not being an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like I would rather them just like, you have to look at that until you know it. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Like multiplication you tables are, are memorization. Right, 100%. like eight times seven. You're not thinking about like right. You're just like seven no. sets of eight. You know, so yeah, it's just like I don't know, like, oh, I know the numbers. Yeah. But I think now they actually try to. <laughs> 56, 32, 40, 48, 56. Yeah, 56. yeah, Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have spoiled it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? How about? Uh, I'm all over the place here, but this is all to say that. Um, uh, the kids' school is stupid, <laughs> and uh, oh, oh, and to, to the rhyming point, the, there was a picture of a bib. And it said, circle all the things that, like, have the same sound as that. And I'm sitting there going, like, pig, pig. Okay, we got that one. Pig is the same sound as pig and bib? bib. Like, the short. But that's what I mean. It's not, like, rhyming. It's, like, sounds like, you know? What? I don't like that. That's not. I know. So I'm going through, like, all these pictures. First of all, some of the pictures, I was like, is that a book or a bag? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Crib. Crib's one. So Crib was on there. But even that one, I I, I was sitting there. I was like, uh. What, uh, uh, what, what, there's another word for crib. Uh, uh, bass, uh, uh, whatever it was, I was like, uh, I was saying, manger? Like, huh? Manger? No, yes, that's not a manger, bro. <laughs> it was, we uh, 3 BC. We're <laughs> <laughs> in Nazareth right now. But it, it's all to say that I was like reading it and I 
kind of got scared and my nanny looked at me and she was like you don't know what this, you don't know what you're doing do you and i was like no <laughs> uh, i'm hoping that it gets a little bit easier like it's almost like the really early shit is confusing because i don't know how they're doing it and then yeah like it, algebra or uh, calculus and shit i love like no it's shot. also but it's maybe in the middle to, i'll be helping you're hoping to get to high school yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but that's probably teach, won't, i feel like a kid. like I, I i tutored like a, my senior year of high school like a sixth grader and it was like if you didn't get it there well you're, you're dumb yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I also 1000 percent believe that I, I would be a terrible teacher because i have such low you have no patience expectation no patience as well but like such low self-confidence where i'm like if i know how to do this there, then you right. should know how to do this. You should yeah, yeah, be. Yeah. I'm so you have absolutely dumb. no excuse. If yeah. I if I can do this, there's no excuse for you not to be able to right. do this. It's also like about almost everything. I think I just told you it. You know, like I would have yeah. one way to explain something, and if you still got it wrong, I'd be like, "Well, I that's can't. on you." Like, keep yep. reading what I just told you. Read that over <laughs> and over again until it sinks in. Ah. My my mom is a a teacher of sorts now. Um, <laughs> she she works at what like a. Uh, I can see. <laughs> it's basically she she volunteers at like. Um, I don't want to say it's, it's not a halfway house, but it's a it's a home for where young kids live who have been basically. It's, but it's not an orphanage either. I, I I can't really explain it. It's kids who are not healthy mentally, um, and I, and I mean that like from trauma points and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Living in a home, and my mom was like, "I'd like to volunteer here. Like, We'd love to have you." And then she gets in there, and they're like, "You're going to be the math tutor." And I was like, "Oh." But I don't. I don't know how to do math. I don't know how to do math. <laughs> and, 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 uh, well, you'll probably be better than them. Yeah. <laughs> and no, she's not. <laughs> and uh, she'll tell you she's not. And <laughs> she was like, she's like, I got. She's like, I, I hate to. You know, after meeting the kids a little bit, she's like, I hate to like kind of be like the bear bad news here, but this feels like like some of the kids like their hands aren't allowed to be oh, like in pockets. Yeah. Their hands have to be visible at all times because they're like. That dan that kind of danger to themselves type Yikes. deal. Right. And uh, when I was like, I don't want to like diminish schoolwork, but this feels like really low on what they're. We got we got a, a couple of things to do are. first before <laughs> before we're learning the mathematics, the, the timetable. Kid's gonna here. put a knife in his mouth. Let's <laughs> <laughs> know what seven times six is. <laughs> but the, oh, man. the the kids love her because she doesn't fucking she doesn't baby them and doesn't and they're like oh like finally someone in my life who doesn't baby. I'm sure I could see like, Polly walking in like like dap it up, yeah, yeah. handshake, doing <laughs> gang symbols the but whole night. I, I say all to say that she's in her as her math as a math tutor. Um, they're they're absolutely not supposed to use calculators, and that's you know, and your ch ch child math, you're definitely right. to use calculators, and then like once they get like five right, my mom's like, you you can do it. Why do you have to do thirty of these? Here? Yeah, just use my you're done. You're good. <laughs> yeah, like, you get the like, idea behind right. it, right? <laughs> Which I think makes a lot of sense. How how like, what you grew up? How old are you? Twenty six. Yeah, you're still pretty young. You've been around for so long. I forget that. But yeah, you, I, I, it's getting hard. Like I still in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty young. But every year it gets a little harder to say that. Like, yeah. I'm, so, I'm so young. When yeah. oh, so well, 27 oh, I'm, is it? I think. I'm at this point. I'm like fucking. I'm Vin, Vince Vaughn and Wedding Crashers. Like, just a couple kids out here having fun. <laughs> How old are you? 34. Oh, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, fight fights is like 30, like forever. Because when he was really young. I thought we were closer in age. I think there was just a period of time where I didn't know how old Fighterborg was. <laughs> and I assumed he was like, I was 25 and he was probably like 24 in my head. But you were probably like 21 or, or actually, actually 21. well, we can do the math, right? Yeah. You're four years? Four years. Yeah. So like, I was like, I didn't realize that at first. And then, so at one point I thought he was older. And then I realized, like, no, he's younger, and now you're just like permanently thirty. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, and just and you're, I know you're not in your twenties. That's all. That's all <laughs> I can say about it. But so you grew up in uh, what was your SATs? Twenty four hundred. Yeah, twenty four. Yeah, that's. I don't. I do not respect anybody who had the twenty four hundred SATs. I think I had the second to last year of twenty four hundred. I had the very first. You're the first year. Oh, yeah. I don't respect you either. Yeah. Huh. I, I would have thought I, you I was were like sixteen hundred sixty guy. kid, something like that. Eighteen sixty at twenty four hundred. That yeah. can't be very good. Um, I didn't get into any colleges, so. I mean, I was a twenty-one thirty for scores, but what was it? Yes, it was in the eighteen. So it was like math and verbal were the same, and they added reading and writing. Yeah. So if you were to take reading, yeah, you're good. I got a perfect score on that. If I was taking read or writing out, well, yeah, if you did like a sixteen hundred, what would you have gotten? Fourteen forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get. I mean, you're you you scream like good SATs. Well, I, I love a good test. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Like, I'd much rather do that than, like, an essay. Yeah. I was always like, an essay, I got to work on a bunch or, like, yeah. a project. Like, a test, you just go and it's over. Yeah. It's just, like, an hour. Yeah, for sure. Uh, were you, 
Like I, I did always love the kids who were like, I'm just not a good test taker. It's like No, you're an idiot. Well, oh, <laughs> well, yeah, two things. Like, first of all, yeah, no, you're just an idiot. Yeah. Second of all, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not good at that, yeah. like, sorry, dude. I you think know? Da- Daniel Tosh has a joke about that where he's like, I just he's like, You mean the way we test your intelligence? If you're not good at that? <laughs> yeah. So it's like someone being like, I'm a great artist, and then but once I put fucking, <laughs> yeah. once I put um Paint to, paint, to, paint to paint to a canvas. Yeah, I'm not good at apart. it. Yeah, I'm like, not a good artist. I took a. I interviewed once for a um, to work at a uh, trading desk on the the NYMEX where they trade like natural gas and oil and all that shit. And I was just. Uh, I did end up still getting it because it was 100 percent because it was a favor. Um, but I was just going to be the bitch who like runs their trades and puts them in the computer as a, a clerk they call it. And um, but they but part of it is that you kind of got to know what's going on in the trading world. And you got to be able to add up, you know, these trades with these trades. And at one point, they just say to me in the middle of the interview, they just go, What's 67 times 42? And I and, and it was kind of like... Get what up I was, and walk out. I, well, it was kind of like what I was saying with my kids. They want you to go like, well, 60 times 40, right. is, you know, and then you add them all up, right? In the interview, I just went, I was like, oh, uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm not... Not very good at mental math, um, <laughs> uh, and it's like I believe that's what we were testing you yeah. on—is if you had good mental math skills or not. You just 14. fucking told it. Yeah, what? I so think maybe. <laughs> there you go. I mean, the tism's that. coming out. Yeah. No, no, I don't not even twenty-eight, fourteen, twenty-six, fourteen. I don't even remember the numbers that I gave you. Twenty-eight, fourteen. Oh, it was twenty-eight, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, don't I shouldn't have doubted question myself. The tism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't question yeah. it. It's. Mm. But to just blatantly, like, like the the guy on the other side was like. Like, don't say that. <laughs> like, I, we're gonna have to hire you because, like, you're a friend. But like, don't blatantly let everyone know that you. You can't know, do nepotism. Math. <laughs> you got the yeah. job. It's fine. Uh, well, <laughs> the, one of the greatest out of all, like, the mush and bad luck that I've ever had. I was going into this interview. I mean, at the time, I was gonna make like twenty dollars an hour or something, which was like fucking over the moon type money. Might have even been more. I, whatever it was, I was super excited this about. Was out of college, or uh, this was my junior year into senior year and that was the other thing I was like I was gonna try to do finance and right. uh, now that I'm thinking about it I think it was probably even more than that because I have a family friend who made millions day trading and he was young he was like 24 at the time and so he was like I'll slide you in here with my friends um, and I was like oh, I'm not like they were kind of like oh, his name is Kevin too like oh you're like Kev vouchers for you like you know what you're doing I was like oh, oh, oh boy <laughs> do you not know what you're about to get into there was this book uh, that's like the Bible for options trading. It's like everybody has to read it if you're going to buy and sell options and shit. And before the interview, I'm sitting there, and at the last second, I legit open up to the middle of it, just being like, ah, let me get some like last little bit. And it was like the first question in there was that page. Like I, The question was, if I give you a dollar, if you roll a dice, and whatever comes up on that die, you get $1 four and i think you, we got five rolls how much money would you pay me for the right to play that game and i just like i had just read the formula and it was i was like it was like twelve dollars and fifty cents and he was like there's only one way to do that so like if you know that you know you know your shit you're good and i was like oh my god <laughs> what a oh my, i mean like truly it ended up just being i got a summer job but it was like if you just think about the the chances of it all one in a zillion that i happen to just boom get to that and you know you do the math it's just like simple math once you know how to do it uh, and i i think in the interview i was like <laughs> I was did you guys did you see that <laughs> um Anyway, this is all about Tommy Scabelli. Um, so are, you coming, are you coming to my party on Friday? Yeah, am I officially invited? Yeah, I, inf- I officially invited you yesterday. You were yeah, on that run. Barely down. You gotta be on. You're right. No, I was. Well, well, you were there. You came weren't off you? like a Yankees tape thing, didn't you? Oh no, no I heard just, your voice. We just asked, we asked who's the uh, what are you leader. Talking about? When we asked who's the leader of the Yankee pack, and you said me. Oh, well, I said myself. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't all, I didn't know you guys were talking about a party. No, Kelly Keys was like, oh, you going to John's party on Friday? And I said, excuse me? <laughs> she was like, hey, he's building a skeleton or something. I was like, that's yeah, it came in today. You want to see it? Yeah, sure. It's fucking, the box is so um, fucking big. Dude. But yeah, I'm, I'll be there. I mean, I would like maybe. The box a- actually does not do it justice. Yeah, it looks when like you, a pretty normal. I was going to say. What are you that, talking about? It looks like a normal box. My fucking neighbors wrote, put a note being like, can you pick up your bro, box? I'm just <laughs> telling you. the apartment. I'm just telling you. The box doesn't do what you think the box does. Really? Show, Nick, show it. Can you send me the screenshot of the parts? That does it justice. The box just looks like a box. Not it's a lie. fucking humongous box. It doesn't look that big. 
big vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that box needs to like be hitting the ceiling for me to be like, oh, whoa, it's a big skeleton. But the, it's the, all right. The, I guess the, the I guess part, like, so I it's tried crazy. To, I tried to take it up myself. Wait, do, wait, so we do I like if I come, I gotta like no 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 no, no 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 no. The, the party's gonna be happening while like we're, we'll be constructing it. Well, he's got a wheel. He, you got uh, he's gotta be a part Nick of it. And maybe uh, Donnie oh. if Donnie can swing it. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I would love to come and just not do any manual. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's just, <laughs> no, the party is like I think we're gonna have what was gonna happen. And what time should I be there? Uh, let's say eight o'clock. Oh, okay, nice. I'll now, by the time by the time <laughs> by the time we listen, this this skeleton will have already been constructed. Oh, but true. Yeah. but while John John thought, I I think that it was gonna be like like putting together a mannequin, like put the arm in, put the leg in, right. and then we looked it up, and there's like. The pelvis and like the humor like, like oh, together. Like, the like, how long do you think it's gonna take? I, I so now I actually, mean, does it have, does it have like a? I, I texted to you. Does, um, is there like somewhere like like the? Wait, movie? you're streaming this? I think we're gonna live stream the skeleton. The party will be in a different room, um, but I think we're right. gonna live so you can do all the drugs yeah. you want. Perfect. Um, but the I mean, it's, uh, like, I, it's I don't want to open the whole fucking page. You wait for it, but it's like uh you know you got oh my god all of these parts. Oh wow! It's like putting together you know that's uh, a lot of parts. that's not a skeleton. That's a uh, what do they call that thing? Uh, uh, I guess it's a skeleton, is it? Like, I feel like there's a term for it in, like, med school, like, where you're... Cadaver? No, maybe it's... I guess it's a skeleton. Yeah, I think it's a skeleton. Yeah. I think it's a skeleton. I just, I'm just saying it's not like a Halloween skeleton. It's like a fucking med school skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, like, it's going to be a pain in my goddamn ass. <laughs> I I regret everything I did with this. Well, I, I mean, I, as always, is you regret... But we're going to yeah. do something with the live... I mean, this comes out later, so it doesn't really matter about the live stream, but we're going to live stream it with, like, subscribers and... How, however, I think we're gonna, do, we're, we're gonna think of a number and however long, how many subscribers we get from it is how long I have to leave the skeleton up. So, so like every 50 is a week or something like gotcha. that. And then it'll end up staying up for Probably the, rest, like, of the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Depending um, on the numbers, the skeleton might be with you forever. It yeah. is, it is, but it is, you, it's gonna be fun. But Tommy's invited to the party because Tommy's Tommy loves, absolutely invited Tommy to loves being invited to a party. Yeah. I love being invited. No, Tommy, are you gonna more. come or are you just gonna- Yeah, no, I'm gonna come. Yeah, are you gonna come in costume? Do I have to? You don't have Maybe to. Maybe I'll get some like cat ears or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's encouraged though. It's encouraged. I, I mean, re- I'm not, I'm I really hate. Co- I really hate costumes. Why do you hate costumes? I just it's just so hard to go find one. What's good? I, I think what it's I, so I, impossibly easy. No, well, you I can walk into a CVS and get one. I don't like it. I want to go as like an <laughs> I'm old with you, but. an old viral trend. Like I want to go as like Alex from Target. Or Ken Bone, like something that's yeah. very clearly outdated, yeah. but pretend but like you gotta, it's like you guys haven't seen Alex yes. from Target. I was gonna Alex say if you go too old, then it becomes kind of funny. It's right. like, it's like cool. It's like a if you're like the Idle Turtles kid or something. Yeah, Maybe. but like yeah, that, that in between of like it's not old enough to be nostalgic and it's not new enough to be cutting edge. You just right. it's just like what Ken Bone's a good one. We're like I'm Ken Bone. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, you, you could be loser. seriously theoretically. You yeah. could be serious theoretically if you're Ken Bone. Right. Right. Ken Bone's a good one. Um, oh, like no, I'm go buy you know a sweater perfect? and shit. No. You know it's perfect. Do the ocean spray skateboard guy. But that's just last year, right? That's I what I mean, what though. Is. It's like a. It's like you're just doing like a bat. Like it's constantly like, always have fucking rumors year, playing. Being a year late is is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The guy. He yeah. was, it was cross. It was. Um, oh yeah. I mean, uh, not Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. It was. Oh, uh, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac yeah. was playing, and he he was skating, and he just like I chugged ocean know spray. You know, yeah, that, uh, bro. Dude. You absolutely know. It right? was like it was Sorry. like the <laughs> beginning. It was the beginning of TikTok. Beginning of pandemic. Everybody loved that he was playing Fleetwood Mac and roller. Uh. And skateboarding down like the California boardwalk, drinking yeah. ocean spray. I'm, I'm judging a book by its cover. I mean, I, I guess you know what? Head tattoos. And we explained it a thousand times exactly, and he's like, he doesn't. Know I'll it. pretend I to guess know. He it. Doesn't know. <laughs> I'll make you guys I mean, like me. Like that, that's almost like the test taking. It's like you we explained exactly what he is. Oh, he does. Yeah, he looks familiar, yeah. but I don't know. The uh, yeah. I mean, you can't explain it any more than that. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the um, I, I was surprised. Maybe maybe he was, and I missed it. And again, as I said, I'm judging a book by its cover because he had head tattoos. Um, I'm surprised he never got milkshake ducked. Yeah, I think he... M- he may have. M- eh, I might be... Judging with Wes Cup yep. as well. Yep, might be doing yeah. what I shouldn't be doing. But yep. the... Uh, I mean, he, he had tattoos. I gotta assume you have some kind of criminal past. Right. That's just... Yeah, that's that, a fair I, I assumption. I think that's a very fair assumption. I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why you no should... One, Tommy, you should, you should get a head tattoo. Do you have a tattoo? I, no, I, I'm, I'm open to the idea of getting a tattoo. I'm I just supposed to get one I don't today. know what I want to get. But I don't want to put something that I'm not... Why don't like, you get a fucking Yankees NY on your neck, you fucking loser? I, I when I was a kid, I was like, I'm gonna get the Yankee NY. I knew it. I in, knew it. in red, white, and blue with the Italian flag oh! draped, <laughs> draped over it, right on my bicep. Oh, <laughs> it's like dude. this is why I am how I uh, am. Oh, I decided not to do. That. I, I think it'd be funny to get like a date. Uh. 
that's very random. Like Jason Bateman's birthday. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a very random. And date then you that tell people no that? significance to my. Nick they're, they're like, oh, what is is Jason Bateman like? You know, in your family or something? No, no, no <laughs> he's in the changeup. Love seen identity. Great movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, identity's the worst. Identity. What? Oh, I can't stand it. Oh my god, it's the perfect Bateman. It's Black. so oh, I could. I turned it off. I don't even one know of the that few, one. It's him Melissa McCarthy. It is. It's still It was. It was like early Melissa McCarthy's career when she was like still doing like the. I'm bad. I'm funny. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like, I actually find Melissa McCarthy very funny now. I think she's kind of changed her tune a bit. She's gr- in um, uh, Bridesmaids. She's amazing. Bridesmaids. She's amazing. This was after Bridesmaids. I think. Yeah, or, but it was like it, that. It, her thing had wor- had worn yeah, its yeah. Right around mm. its call, of course. Um, but uh, Nick Tarani has has said to me before, and I, maybe I, I shouldn't be explaining his tattoo ideas, but he wants to get just the date that he's getting the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, that place the too. Right, right, right. <laughs> Very meta. We get it. Yeah. You're so clever. <laughs> um, okay, n- now that I would imagine you have enough perspective to not get a fucking Yankees. With yeah. I, my favorite thing I, I, with the Yankee fans is I remember uh, Tom Lay and Frankie. Were, it was right at the peak of what, every game I was taking pictures of the, of the crowd and tweeting out all the skells and creatures from Yankee Stadium. And Tom... What does skell mean? Sorry. Like a... You're degenerate, like scumbag. Doesn't like Rico. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a... You're like a... I, I mean, skell gets used a lot here, and I kind of just nod my head with it. And yeah. I, I've never really It's, it's like it you're... I don't even know like how a, you Almost do. like a... Which was bad. You're like a vagrant fucking... I don't want to say homeless, because it's not like synonym for homeless, but it's just kind of like you're a skell. You're a piece of trash. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Right, there you go. Um, so... I just remember them Pretty being like, almost, "You could do, like, you could do this with like any any fucking fan base, like this is everybody." And then it was, I think it was the one of the one game wild cards. It was like it was a treasure trove. There was like a thousand yeah. in a row. And Tommy, uh, Tom, and and Frankie were like, it was like Jesse from uh, Breaking Bad. Like this can't keep happening. <laughs> like, why is it every single time? And I was just laughing all my way to the bank because that fan base is just a bunch of fucking. Absolute zeros. We did buy the big Yankee chains the other day, the gold chains oh, at the Yankee bro. store. 40 bucks for like the cheapest like gold the, chain the ever. The fact that those are so popular. This was last oh. playoffs, like last hockey playoffs. And I went to a Bruins game. I saw just tons of them. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how are these so popular? Mm. And they've just, and, and I, I, I was tweeting about it, being like, how the, like, every person I see has one of these on. And then people who worked in like like across the country, people who worked in in gift shops and stuff like that, like we can't keep them on the shelves. People were applying, being like, <laughs> they they just fucking did some. Fly, did fly, one athlete fly. start it? Was it like a? I think it. They, I think it maybe is born of the turnover chain. Yeah, I mean that that it, would be the first time I ever heard of it. Like they that. were selling also wrestling belts with mm-hmm. like the Yankee logo. Guess how much money? Buck twenty. No. Five hundred bucks. What? Or, or four fifty or something? Was and it they like said they ma- sold was out? Like, was it like metal? They sold like, out. Was it like I didn't I didn't know, touch it, it or be... feel it? But oh, insane to spend that money on that Dude. and to sell out. And that's why they're sold out because a bunch of fucking Yankee scales are wearing them <laughs> everywhere you go. Yeah, I guess. I I, I don't know. It's bizarre. Uh, if, yeah, you are. So to to go back to where we started, uh, Thomas Michael Joseph Scabelli. Um, I remember that. But you are. Just the furthest from a Thomas Michael Joseph yeah. Scabelli. I'm a, you are a I'm Joshua a Benjamin Mortenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Joshua, but yes, Mortenstein. Perfect. Yeah. Benjamin Mortenstein. I wear uh, I wear shorts with Converse sneakers and black tube socks pulled all the way up. Yeah. With a uh, like a baggy t shirt and I'm all. Uh, I got my yarmulke on and I'm blowing my nose. Off. I think I'm allowed to get offended by anti-Semitism. You, That's yes. how Jewish I basically am, bro. If, you, if we, were, I'm, I'm burning all my Kanye. <laughs> you can't say that about us. You, if you were outside on the street with like a yarmulke on and a billboard burning Kanye albums, not yeah. a person in the world would cool uh, question. Yeah, that that fits. <laughs> yes, I could see like other Jewish guys walking up, being like, "Shalom, brother." Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you're the you're the most. Jewish Gentile that it, I think has ever existed. Yeah. I guess other than I'm Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. He was well, kind of like he, a, was, he, no, no, he, he was, was Jewish. I guess he's he the other Jewish. way around. He's yeah, the most yeah. Gentile Jewish exactly. guy yeah. ever. You are right, the right. anti. I'm the, I'm the, the Antichrist. Antichrist. <laughs> 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 There's your title. Um, <laughs> but it, it's it's staggering how much you're not Jewish. You and Mark Normand, 
You know I'm the comedian. He's not Jewish either. Exactly. Right? Wow. <laughs> New York City guy, so Mark I Norman, actually, curly uh, hair. He even said that in one of his bits. He's like, I'm, it's kind of what we just said. He's like, I'm so close. Come on. Mm-hmm. I went to a show at the Stand. He performed. And Ari, Ari Shafir, you guys know him. Obviously, mm-hmm. he he uh, performed. I was sitting front row, which was a mistake. And he pointed out to <laughs> the me. The Stand is also close yeah, quarters. He said something days. to me. He was like, So you're Jewish, right? I like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, No, I just look and act. It. <laughs> and, he, he, week, and, we'll and he was like, Yeah, you really do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you. If there was a Dave Chappelle racial draft, I don't even think you would be like traded, or, or it would just be like, yeah, he's on the juice. It, like, it right, would be right, one yeah. of those things. Like it happens in hockey sometimes, where there's like a a family member of like a legend on this team. Like, mm-hmm. I, like it happened with like Patrick Waugh's son, I think. Okay. Where like no one took him. Like he wasn't gonna be. He he's going. He's going to the Avalanche. He wasn't. Uh, it was Canadians. It, was, Canadians. it wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't a great player. So it was like no one take him. Let him go to the seventh round. Yes. And the Canadians yes. will take him. And that's the yeah. Kind no of deal. one would even fuck this yeah. up. Yeah. Like, they, just, they made. They need like, each it, other. It, yeah. It's already a done deal. Just <laughs> let it happen and go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Or yeah, like a free agent going home. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like like when Tavares went to the Leafs. It was like let Tommy go to the Juice. Right. <laughs> you can we, try, we know where but we know where his heart is. But, but also, <laughs> yeah, like I want to say this, and this might be controversial. I was very impressed with the tribe and how they handled Kanye West. They made quick work, swift, very like very quick, quick, fast. They shut that shit down, and I think that was kind of proving Kanye true by being like they run shit. It's like yeah, they do, bro. Like, they took away your bank account, they took away your fucking Spotify, your albums. It was, but it was, and we've seen every race and every ethnicity get offended by some loud mouth somewhere over and over again. White, black, everywhere in between, and and nothing happens, right? It's like you get you get some heat on Twitter, you maybe get some pushback here, there, lose some fans within a week or two. The Chosen's just we're see built you later. different. <laughs> <laughs> we are built. I mean, we're in the we already. He yeah. closed his school today, huh? He closed his school. I mean, today. he didn't he have to? Like, but, first of all, I, uh, I I don't know if you have to, but like, I, everyone paid fifteen thousand dollars tuition. Yeah, I, I mean, it's only better in it October. Back. Yeah, school started last month. What even was the school like? I, it was, if you're have irrational you enough footage? to send your kid to Kanye yeah, school, it's, you it's, wouldn't think you're rational enough to pull them out now. Yeah, right? no, right? they're it probably was, they're probably like was, riding through it. The, the only footage I've ever seen of, of it, them singing "Good Morning," it was very culty. It's very culty. Yeah, it was, it but is. I guess you know, all, all those things are very. <laughs> it's just like the 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 frame with what you watch it. You know, like it was kids singing in the morning, but I was like, that's a cult. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but I'm oh, sure some they're all in the same clothes. They were all wearing black because kind yeah. of a, yeah. But that, also that that changes kids singing in the morning if all in their own outfits that their parents picked out. Beautiful. Kids fine, singing in the whatever. morning. Yeah. Kids singing all the fucking exact uniform. Like a hood on and shit. You're a cult. Yeah. yeah. I also it's uh, it, it's not a real school when like. Antonio Brown and Aaron Donald and all these like athletes are like the heads of it. They no, were they were fun. that was different. That was Donda Sports. That was that was oh. a sports agency he had. Oh, all those guys were leaving. I thought they were like part of the board of the no, school. No, uh, Jalen Brown in his statement had something like, I've made a relationship with some of the kids at Donda Academy. I look forward to keeping that together. Oh, okay, all right. But they yeah, were just I, represented by Donald. And they all bounced from the label. Yeah. I mean, he, that's crazy because he's he's done. Yeah, I don't, but, but like, I'm still going to listen to Kanye. Like, who is not going to? I think even Jewish people Careful, will stop the, listening to Kanye. The Jews will they'll kick you out, bro. No, they're not going to stop listening. Um, they're, they're, Jesus I, Walks is such a banger. I mean, <laughs> you can't yeah. stop listening. There, there is, uh, it is weird. If Music like, is stuff. Like, people music, still listen to R. Kelly. I was going to say, if you're listening to R. Kelly or Michael Jackson, you yeah. can't be like, Kanye said mean words. Which but I think I think that a lot of people will think twice or not buy the sneakers anymore. I think oh, that I a think lot of people. I, I will. actually had a dream last night that they were all going for fifty bucks, or maybe I, that was real. I don't know. Um, I could. Like, I mean that that it, this will be very interesting because I think it's the first time that someone of his magnitude, you know, in the spotlight. Like Harvey Weinstein was huge, but he was like behind the scenes a right. lot. You know, this guy has a huge fan base that usually will like die for him. And I, I've seen enough of the people being like, he did this on purpose because he wanted to get out of his contract and he doesn't really believe, mean these things. He just needed to get out and this was his only way to do it. Whatever you think. Like, if he can, if he somehow still makes money and has juice through this, then, like, he's the GOAT. Because yeah. when you have every lawyer, label, doctor, scientist, whoever is like, no, man, we're not fucking with you. If you somehow still pull off success... He, he's the one. I, I yeah. would be very he's surprised the chosen to see yeah. Kanye back, get back from this anytime soon. 
Really? Yeah. I feel I feel like he will. I don't. I, know. I, I, what, I, what, I, what are we defining as get back? Like like have a new like album. have an album out. Yeah. Oh, I bet he has an album out within like two years. Because uh, okay, having but, but, an album there, but there will be like, a there will be recompense before that. There will be like he'll I, have to say I'm sorry. I went to I went to a mental health counseling. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, America yeah. loves tearing people back. down just to build them back. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. There is. There, I, I, yeah. I'm not saying he'll never make music again, but there will. It will not just be like. I think it's more the, for a while than the, Kanye makes a new album. The music is one thing because, like, you can. I think you can kind of self-produce these days and put out on your own. He doesn't he have he that had thing. Like his own player. What's it called? Something. Dental or something? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's like a Donda yeah. thing. It's yeah, like, like it was his own. Every, he calls everything Donda. I think it was I think a different he might name, have some other I think it's similar, but but so he'll probably put his shit on there, and the really true diehards will find it. Nobody else will. But anything that's like, I think it'll be hard to like tour or do any other business. Because you're gonna run into some guys. It's actually crazy. At, at some point, someone who signs a paper is gonna have a Stein or a Witz or whatever, and they're gonna be like, "We made it. We uh, made it." Shabelli. I, <laughs> 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 I legit feel like there was. Do you remember when? Uh, remember, like pre. You probably don't know, know this, but before the internet, when it snowed out, there was the phone chain. Oh yeah, yeah. F- to tell you, like, hey, I call Fidel. I actually don't think. Do you know that? I know. Uh, we just got like a call from the school. Okay. Like, we we used to I don't have think like. We ever had those. I I know what they are, the phone trees, but I don't think we ever had them. Okay, I we had like, like I call the Scabellis, the Scabellis call the Fidelbergs, really? and then it would. Why just, not the school just call everyone? Uh, I think it's just a lot of work for that person to just. Oh, I so guess it's like we place no one call and then they do gotcha. the rest. Ours was like ours. Was, I think ours was just basically like. Watch the news. You're yeah, on, you're on yeah, your own. Like, right, like, right. But this is all. This. this is all. That I think that like they picked up the phone and said like, like it's it's Deathcon one, Death De- Deathcon three, <laughs> and like they all just agreed. Everyone called up and said like nobody fuck with Kanye, and then that's it. It you're was done. it was quick yeah. fast. It's, yeah. it's it's it was very impressive. I, I'm very proud of the, of your people, Tommy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so these are kind of like behind the blogish, you know. Um, Someone cancel last minute? <laughs> no, I, I think I've I got checked to like before. thirty seconds before. <laughs> no, we 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 um. I will I will be transparent. We've been trying to do this with Frankie for about eight weeks straight, gotcha. and I'm at the point where um maybe he'll never come on ever again because he you can't turn down someone like eight times in a row. Oh. And expect he's me to a, continue asshole. asking. Yeah, he's yeah. just a bad person. Uh, also, his was simple Trent is his. Simple Trent's as co-host. Yeah, 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 Simple Trent has to carry a drool bucket around or something <laughs> just at all times, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> We're facing off against having the dozen next week. I'm so excited. <laughs> Four yeah, play. Carry a drool bucket around. <laughs> Shot, I'm not, I'm is, not laughing. Trent, is... I, tr- all, open offer to Trent to come on the show, and mm. then he can re- respond. <laughs> that is one of the meanest and funniest things I think you can say about someone. They need to yeah. carry a drool so bucket around. I was talking around. to Trent the other day. Me, uh. Nick, and Trent, we went to the bathhouse, which I know you. Oh, you hit the bathhouse? Well. House. I love the bathhouse. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm stunned you love the bathhouse. Yeah, me too. I, I'm it's Jewish. Germs. It's the most, it's literally like <laughs> Jewish, right. Turkish people. Point to me. like, I had a schwitz. Yeah. The, I, which, I, which, by I, the way, the I learned I learned there that a schwitz isn't just, I thought a, a schwitz was just like Jewish or, or, or um, Hasidic. Uh, what do you, what's a Hebrew? Hasidic's a type Hebrew of for um, sweat. Eat for sweat. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize a schwitz is a kind of, it's a, it's a kind of uh, sauna. Oh. You go in like the Schwitz room. Schwitzing, interesting. Yeah. I had, Do you like let the people like whip you with oh, fucking no, no, reeds no, no, and no, shit? No, no, no. Yeah, that was fun. For, uh, for, I, like I know you're Jewish, but you're also the, the, the germaphobe. Yeah, but it's it, like it refreshes sweat. your body. I'm, I'm in a new mindset right now. That's why I would say we start. I've been meditating. Trent's oh, been meditating whoa. too. And Trent's like, he's able to, I just started, so I could do it for like five minutes with an app. And Trent's like, yeah, I do it 20 minutes by myself every day. And I'm like, you you have to be so stupid to be able to clear your head (laughs) for 20 (laughs) minutes. Like not a single thought going through that Iowan little head of his. I I argue I do. I I argue I meditate longer than anybody alive. I argue I I meditate more than than the Dalai Lama. Like per day, like d- d- dude. He's that guy when your girlfriend's like, "What are you? Just tell me what you're thinking about." And he's like, "Nothing." I like, yeah. No, come on. It's like, no, legitimately, out, it is. I will. Whoosh, I'll, I'll, I'll watch fucking three Netflix episodes, not register a single thing. But you're still watching. I was like, I didn't even realize I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was deep in thought, yeah. in my inner peace. God, you're so dumb. <laughs> um, but um, so I I would say in the world of barstool. I've always, you know, people have talked about like uh, writing books about this whole thing. 
and people say Dave's gonna write a book one day or we'll all write a book one day. And I always said We should drop like six at once. <laughs> make and everybody has to pay all, for all it. Incredibly all. conflicting stories. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like the Bible. You decide the truth. It yeah. would be like uh, you know, the gospel according to Feidelberg, yeah, the gospel yeah. according to KFC. And it's like, well, this guy said it happened like this, you know, these guys got mad over that. Uh I that would actually be a good way to it's like a almost like a choose your own adventure. Like yeah. if you're a Feidelberg fan, you want to hear the story according to uh, Feidelberg. You read his book. I couldn't tell you anything. I don't remember shit. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was meditating. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I always said that Hank is actually the guy I think should write one because when you look at where he came from and where he's ended up and everything in between, and I'll tell you, Glenny Balls is on his heels right now. <laughs> as far as guys who it's like. You know, Hank was the kid using the butter knife to break into the fucking stadium, making up schools and collecting tickets at a museum or some shit, <laughs> and ended up, you know, now being like an executive at Barstool Sports. He's like the Jon Snow of the Barstool Sports. Yeah. To a degree. It's yeah. Like you could tell it through his eyes. Right. Yeah. But you, though, your story might even be the the yeah. true. Uh, we have to see where it, where it ends up. But. If you didn't, if you weren't at Barstool, Tommy, your life would be, oh, it'd be miserable. Radically different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> radically. If you I, think about where you were and like just who you were, at alarmingly stupid, to now, I think your life's very. How different. were you alarmingly stupid? Uh, you, the, I was the a, worst I mean, Google I rundown Google. fact checker. Also, yeah, we got gout. A of alarmingly stupid. Over yeah, there. like the, yes. gout. Got me. <laughs> These guys might. Yeah, the question we were trying to figure out something about gout, and no, his, you his Google out. search was Seinfeld. I don't like these snack guys anymore. <laughs> we're just going. What? What? Gout. Gout. Oh, no, oh, yeah. gout. <laughs> Tom interview with me. You're like three seconds away from getting kicked. Tom, out with the same What's wrong every with every day. He's like so stupid. <laughs> this is a classic rundown, though. You're it's gone a million stupid. different ways. Farming with stupid is such a it's mean so thing mean. to say. It's so mean. That is so brutal. That whole exchange was like <laughs> so surreal mean. watching him react. And he could make, like, hey, he might behind, be able to get us credentials next year. So ten minutes behind keep around. the times and like way off. <laughs> alarmingly stupid. Tom? <laughs> Alarmingly stupid. No, listen, it, it makes like, sense. It does, you guys but are it talking also, about if you got the answer, it would have been it would have made sense. You didn't have the answer for No, us. I was so far off. You so guys are talking far. about what it's called when a boxer um like gets hit on the head and they have a When blood Hassan pop. Rockman had that like remember that or something. that was his name when his, he has that ridiculous bulge yes, on his head. Yeah, but, yeah. And we were looking for hematoma, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's what you were looking for. Yeah. But I thought it was gout. Yeah, I I know, I, I thought it was <laughs> goiter. The, I thought oh, it was okay, goiter, yeah. okay. and but I got goiter and gout confused. Right. And I remember there's an episode of Seinfeld where the uh, is it a guy or girl? Yeah, has the it was big a thing. goiter. Yeah. So yeah. I typed in Seinfeld gout. <laughs> that was my search <laughs> to try to figure out what a hematobin <laughs> on a boxer's head was. <laughs> it was so bad. And Loud Sean, like, he's the one that blew me up because he was like, his search is literally Seinfeld, Seinfeld <laughs> gout. <laughs> and and it was right when like t uh, Dave was kind of in like. You know, fuck these people mode or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. And he was He's been like, in that one for a while. Are, yeah. <laughs> but he was like, you, you are alarmingly stupid. And that yeah. stuck for a long time. And probably, I mean, your life, if you didn't sign up for, if you didn't get in with Barstool, and then if you got in with Barstool and just stayed as alarmingly stupid, didn't have that uh, that Ma March Madness run. Right. Because that's why I say your book would be filled with, like, talent and funny and, like, actual work, but also just filled with a fuck lo load of luck about you're, oh, you yeah. know, I mean, becoming Dave's bottom for like a month <laughs> during March him, right? Madness. No, that, yeah, I, no, I, I went did. over his house for like a night for like six hours and he called me an Uber home. <laughs> 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 Gave me went a gift basket and sent me on my <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at this man. Look at this boy. Oh, this wow. is September. Yeah, that, was, that interview was so bad. I, I bet it was. Well, to be fair, I thought I was interviewing with Erica. Uh -huh. Based on the email that was really just office manager Brett sending it, and then I walked in there and it, was it I Dave? just saw Dave. Oh wow! Yeah. So you were like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, I was. And that interview went really bad. It went bad. I was saved by the fact at the end that I I told him about the survive or uh, survive, which ironically enough, because ended up being survivor barstool, but the survivor barstool. Like I wrote a fan fiction right, story. Right, right, that was and Dave insane. like had seen that, and he was like, "Oh, I saw that. Like it's comforting to know you're like." A college kid writing that, and not like a forty-year-old with two. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Actually, so, I don't know what's 
<laughs> they're both equally yeah but weird. like at least it was easier to hire a college kid yeah, uh, for like yeah. an intern oh i see what you mean yeah 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 okay okay like he was impressed by that wanted to hire that person and if you found out that guy was 45 years old he was gonna be like oh, probably yeah, yeah 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 okay i see that uh yeah i mean the march madness run uh it was wild mir- it was a miracle it was magic it was it was march madness within march madness it was like your run was better than the basketball i was like me and sister jean yeah <laughs> we're like two yeah. runs but because again like the fucking the the uh loki like uh time what do they call those timelines variants very yeah yeah like the, but, just like there was a world where like you didn't go on that run and that that version of tommy i think is not even in the same stratosphere as this version. Yeah, I don't know what I would be doing. Real like people always ask me, "What would you be doing if not Barcelona?" I, I don't know. You like I, have, ne- I never. Well, you were doing like WFUV. Right? Yeah, so I'm. I you probably, probably would have tried to like. I, I knew I kind of wanted to do on air. So if I had to go to fucking Nebraska and like call minor league baseball, done that, you think? I think I might have done that. But I, I feel um, like you actually get if you go to like Nebraska, you get like a a better gig. I feel like it's almost more like you stay local and do like the shit minor leagues. Right, yeah, I don't know. I like Like would you I'm saying if, if you were offered like I don't even know if they do this, but like an actual like full-time gig like doing like the Staten Island Yankees. Right, you mean back then. Yeah, inst- oh. or you could go to like Nebraska and be like uh, you know, I don't know, like some Corn an, an important radio Yeah, or, or maybe I'd not probably, even that I thought I would have done the Yankees. I mean, it's the Yankees. You would, so yeah, would yeah, you would say you would say local but, and do garbage rather than go uh, yeah, I, I never like had to put too much thought into it because I had Barstool, and then even before the March Madness run, I started to do more. Like I would come on Barstool Radio with you guys. Oh, that really? Was that before. already began. Yeah. So that actually happened because there was like uh, Fordham and was playing in Jamaica. Fordham basketball. Yes. And Big Cat and Dave bet on the over or something in the game, right. and the the rims were dying, I and it was that. the under. And Frankie and Hubs were like. You know, like alarmingly stupid is in Jamaica calling the football mm-hmm. games or mm-hmm. something. And Dave was like, What? And like he listened to like a clip of me doing play by play and he was like, Oh, that's actually like good, pretty yeah. good. And yeah. I remember I had a meeting with Gaz a week later and he was like, Look, right now to be honest, if you graduated, like I don't think there's a spot to give you a full time job. Right. He was like, Is there anything else you want to do? And I was like, Yeah, I'd like to help out with like radio. Like thinking like I'd help radio brand make a prep sheet or something. Yeah, yeah. And so he was like, All right, and then he like came back like 10 minutes later. He was like, yeah, I talked to Dave. He said, you could just be on the show today. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh, all right. That's not really what I had in mind, but I'll hilarious. take it for sure. It's very funny. <laughs> and it was me, you, Fran, and Dave. When was that a fucking show? What did we talk like, about? This is like uh, December 27th. Well, like, this is one episode or this was a show? Oh, you three were pretty... Uh, Fran? I think it might have been December 5th, 2017, December 6th, something like that. Yeah, you yeah. three did it. Uh, I mean, I used to rotate so much, but I think you three had a streak of doing it relatively consistently. Fran. Fran. Not Liz. Fran? Fran. Wow, I blacked that out. I, I don't remember, remember that either. Yeah. I don't know if it was a fill-in for a limited amount of time, but it was a... I feel like maybe the Eagles. Was that the same year the Eagles won the Super Bowl? Yeah, it was that So, season. like, maybe, like, every time, you know, the Eagles, like, undefeated or whatever they were throughout this... For that throughout that season, and I don't maybe she came on for that. Think Liz or got maybe hired just, until that January, okay, or February. So, so I mean that that's funny because it is. I don't know that that is a, a good like. As much as you were like, I didn't have a plan. It's like you went to Fordham where they do radio. Whether or not you went there because of that, who cares? You ended up doing yeah. radio. You were doing that the play by play, and then uh, you know, like it. It is actually whether or not you planned it, you kind of earned it. You I know? almost went to Georgetown. Like, I was deciding between Fordham and really? Georgetown up until, like, midnight of the day. Yeah, I was going to say, with that 1430, what are you fucking doing at Fordham? Well, I, I, yeah, but I was just, like, Georgetown, like, I, I was like, what am I, what am I fucking doing in D.C.? I was like, yeah. I don't really want to be, like, I, I visited a couple times, and it was very, like. So, so let me go to the trash bag <laughs> hood. But at least it felt like. I'll, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. Well, DC's not in the city better. of power. Like, <laughs> felt, like, Fordham's, like, everyone from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Totally. But, and Georgetown totally. was, like, everybody there was, like, a son of a senator, yeah, like, powerful. Definitely. And I was like, I don't fucking fit in with these people. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'll go I'm to Fordham. I'm just a skinny Jewish kid from fucking <laughs> Long Island. Yeah, let me you know? stay on the island with my fellow people. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, but did you, you pick realize Fordham? That, like everyone being a son of a senator is is an appealing thing for most people. But not if you're it, not. Well, no. Why? Then you get yourself in those circles. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm not a power starts. guy. I don't care about power. I want to be liked, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care about power. I I I I, 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 I concur with you on that. I don't, yeah. I don't really care about power. I just want, I just want everybody to like me. There, I'm actually surprised you uh, care about being liked. Well, no, I don't know why. You I, you want to be popular is what you want to be. 
Yeah. You don't care how you get So there. I remember yeah. in like a college class, it was like well, You'll rank, step on someone's fucking face to get to, to, right. get to the party. You know? But it was like rank, fame, power, and money. Okay. It was like, how important are they are to you? I know power was like, I think I might've went fame, power, money. Cause I was like, fame, you can leverage into money. I, I would guess at that time I would have said in college, I would have said fame, money, power. That's what I said. And yeah. now I would I'm flip a- fame and money. Money's number one. Money's number one. Money I, number I had one the eighteen bullet. year old me had a different opinion. Thirty four year old uh, me. I think money's number. I one. think it's easier though to convert fame into money than it is money into fame. Agreed, but I don't want to convert it, so I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I would do. I would go money, power, fame, and pa- pa- by power it would be like I can just make my own decisions in my own life. But that's what I think. I almost think that that comes with fame. It's like it's like yes and no. It's like I, I just want to be. I guess you can't like make, when, when, you people, can make when people think decisions. of power. I think you think of like I can make you do this and you do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think of like power. Yeah, I think of power as like independence. Like I can do this show Fair. and nobody can fuck with me. Right, right, right. That's what I think of power. I don't want to boss you around and shit, and I don't want to be known by people. I just want to be rich and be left alone to do my own thing. <laughs> That's all I want. I never want to tell anyone what to do. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like. I've had like countless. Requests from family friends or like people my dad works with, where it's like, "Hey, could this kid's son be your this guy's son? Could he be your intern?" And I'm always like, "No, no, I don't yeah. want an intern because I'll just go get my own lunch because I'm not gonna ask yeah. you." So you're like, "Yeah." So then you're just a fucking person hanging around, here. right? I don't, then it's I don't not that good. Either. Yeah. How about this for awkward situations? Because you you don't want you don't like it because you feel awkward doing it, like bossing people around. Yeah, it's like yeah, uh, I I agree. Well, 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 so I I believe in my mind uh, the worst most awkward thing. How are we doing on time? Okay. The most awkward thing I think in the world is uh, when movers are moving your stuff. Never had movers. Ugh. It is an experience that is just like... I've also never had movers. Really? Never. I mean, you're also... You just have like a stick and bindle. <laughs> I, and you just I, go to your place with like, you I know, had my pillow, dad pillow, pillowcase full of fucking candy and that's it. My, my first apartment here six years ago. Uh, my dad helped me move in. And then when I left that apartment and moved to one I live in now, I like yeah like exactly like I carried two bags in. Yeah, and I was like, this is all. But I have. if you've got a bunch of shit, moving is just it's like I'm paying these guys. I know I'm gonna tip them well. This is the gig. But when I'm like yeah, you know, it's a two story walk up and we're going to like another two or three yeah. story walk up. It's like I'm. I'm giving you like the worst fate in the world. You know what I mean? You forget that you're paying them to. Do yes, it. yes. Yeah. But could, but then but it I also doesn't where, like, matter. I'm like, like it even, does, even though I know in, I'm unless paying I was them, paying them, matter. like like in my mind, because I just know how much I hate moving. The cost should be like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna use movers next time. You, like, uh, the number one thing in the world once you have a little bit of money is movers. If you yeah. have the money, not getting a mover is just like you're being ridiculous. Yeah. We, that uh, and wash and fold, two I, things that are worth the money. I, I, haven't I, like, I like to do I my know, own because you're a fucking idiot. You know what my dad does, which is insane? My dad, like when he, like they have like landscapers and stuff at the house, my dad helps. So that's what I do with the moving. I like grab a box here and there. I also, but I also try to get out of their way because sometimes I think they're like, get this fucking scrawny that's, guy out of the yeah. fucking way. We're trying to move the couch. The, the, my favorite thing. So like he had like, like gardeners and all that kind of shit. And like they're, they were lining like the, the fucking driveway with plants or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're digging holes and, and they're, they were digging a lot of holes, mm-hmm. a lot of little holes for plants. And my dad's like, he goes, to the guy Jacques was his name, Jacques Goumer. And uh, Jacques is like, he's like, Jacques, what the hell, man? He's like, look, I'm in good shape. Like, I exercise. I, he's like, you're digging 30 holes to every one I dig. Yeah. And Jacques just holds up the, the shovel and goes, John, 30 years. 30 years. I dig 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was True. like, all right, yeah, good point. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, those guys, they know like how to shovel. It's not just like do it. It's yeah. like if you lean this way or that way, painting, you ever watch them paint a wall? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I'm like, I get paint in my eyeballs and it's like half done. And I can't, I got, I got two shoe racks and I don't think I'm going to be able to build them myself. I think I got to get a task grab it. Yeah. I really don't. Are, are you, I have like I three paintings you. in my apartment that I haven't hung. You know, I've had them for three years. I've yeah. been painting for three dude, years. Sitting and I haven't on the floor. Hung. I'm like, I don't know how to hang this, dude. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> would you say you're like the least handy guy in the world? Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you're real bad. I, dude, I'll give you a run for your money. He's going to say, I got to build a fucking skeleton tomorrow, but I'll give you a run for your money. No, I think I'm just going to get, I think I'm just going to get. Get a bunch of more shit and then just have a, a task grab and knock it all out. Oh, so like this is my new stuff. Can you assemble that and then also do this? By well, the way? They, I think they get paid by the hour. So yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, these guys, it's like they 
they want to do this. This is like why yeah, they're here. Job. But I yeah. feel like so, so like, I'm they, they'd also love like a 10 minute job and they get to charge it for an hour. Yeah. For sure. You know what I've always thought would be a funny prank I might want to do one day is you hire a task rabbit to, to get a painting to hang a painting and then the painting is just a picture of their profile picture <laughs> <laughs> and they come and they have to ha- and they're like that, this, what, this how they react that would be fun <laughs> that would be fucking weird as shit yeah. I'd be like uh, there's a serial killer here <laughs> yeah. that's that is that is funny though <laughs> I mean the like I I feel like it's because it's also like there's a manly thing to it it's like oh, I, I can't pick I these care. things yeah. up yeah. and you can uh, so and then they're just sweating and they're hot. I mean, uh, this guy, Bailey, who moved us, this kid from Philly, he's just a fucking horse. He works for uh, Blue Line Moving Company with the guys who, who moved me. They're awesome. Everybody should go use them. They do, like, celebrities. They, like, handle everybody's, like, top-notch uh, belongings, and it's always, it always goes smooth. But, like, I, I know it's your job, but it's like I'm asking you to do the worst thing in the fucking world, and right. I just feel so incredibly awkward. It's my – what do you think is your number one most awkward – uh, like social interaction you have to deal with. <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> I know, I mean, this, this is like, I mean, this is like out of all your Tommy's two cents, Tommy or Tommy thoughts, like the Rest most awkward peace. thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are t- uh, t- my two cents. Was Tommy's two cents. Tommy's two cents. Yeah, that, I mean that's my two cents. <laughs> yeah, the best. Some would say I clank, 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 clank. My favorite thing Quigs did was uh. We, we made like a graphic of fake Tommy Two Cents merch. It was like a shower curtain of like Tommy <laughs> Two Cents, like handbags. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I mean, I think the Tommy's hair- thoughts are still going, right? Not real. Come I mean, on, I well, love I it. I do them on TikTok or yeah. Or, well, that was like the whole joke that everyone jokes is like Tommy Thursday thoughts got we got our production budget cut. Yeah. <laughs> like, at the company meeting in. <laughs> well, I had stopped doing them in like March because, like, you know what? I was like, I'm, well, I'm fucking running out of thoughts, and, and I wanted <laughs> to focus more on like the smoke show series. So I was like, I'm gonna l- not do these for a while. Right. Then, like a month later, uh, at like the big production company meeting, it was like cut shows Tommy's Thursday thoughts. It's <laughs> like, first of all, I stopped doing this. Second of all, I'm recording myself and an iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, what do you mean I'm cut? Like, so I actually think I'm gonna do a video soon where I bring back. Tommy Tommy's Thursday, Thursday. Like, like sneaking around the office. Like, is Tommy fucking thinking? <laughs> like, is Tommy thinking <laughs> Don't you let company? that man have a thought. Is he <laughs> thinking on company time right now? <laughs> that is a very funny idea. That, like, we're, we're, we, we cut our employee from thinking. Do you remember? <laughs> and recording um, it. It actually, I kind of had a, I had a similar thing. This is probably 11 years ago. It was very early in my blogging days. And I had this uh, blog series I was trying to start where it was called, I think it was called I Think Therefore I Blog. Mm -hmm. And it was just like bullet points, thoughts. Creed thoughts. It was basically like tweets Mm because Twitter Mm -hmm. wasn't that big at the time. Mm -hmm. Basically just tweets. Ahead of your time, brother. And I saved that blog and Dave emailed me right away and said, if this was the first blog I ever saw yours, you'd be fired. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. So. A simple no would have been fine. <laughs> it was like back when like Dave was approving blogs yeah. and Dave was posting blogs. And it, was, yeah. it was just all all the subject line. If this oh, was the course. first blog you guys I saw, you'd be fired. Which is so funny though, because it's like those things. <laughs> it Tommy was such a simple these, thing. It was just it's, like it's so Seinfeldian and Larry <laughs> David esque. You know, I don't get why Dave. You know, that, he, no, he, like right he, up he like incur- he to- like he encouraged me to do the Thursday thought. That's where yeah. it started, like a year end meeting, and, and then like, it got. Well, he was like, start putting some of those thoughts on a blog or something, and then another year end meeting. He's like, you're not doing those anymore. I was like, no, I still am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then and then they got crushed. <laughs> not that I don't think he had a single say in that. Uh, so what do you, you, What is decision. your? Uh, what would you say you do here? Yeah, you do fucking everything. You do, now. You do s- d- advisors yeah. is uh, yeah advisors every week. Uh, your neighborhood eats. The neighborhood are you eats. on PB and Slay? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we're, we're like testing it out. Like I, I go on, I do the bracket every week. Yeah. Uh, the, I do the smoke show video series, random TikToks. Uh, I was blogging the Dave Portnoy show. That, that is sometimes random blogs. Another uh, one bites the dust. Gotta think of what. I mean, I just feel like I'm always. Why like, don't you I feel take like over the Dave Portnoy? I show. always get. Yeah. I, mean, I can't go back at Dave. I don't have that. Too much of a pussy. Yeah. Oh no! I meant like you just like I was. I, I think Dave's done with it. I meant like you just. Do Nobody like, cares what I. Have That'd to be say funny if it's like the Dave Portnoy show featuring Tommy Smokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like the, Los Angeles Angels. Yeah, yeah. Star, yeah the, the Dave Portnoy show starring Tom, <laughs> Tom Scabelli. <laughs> now I I don't think anyone like. People care what Dave has to say about inner workings of Barstool. Like nobody cares. I agree I, with that. I ah, people just want dirt. By the way, what and did you yeah, think? Fair. What did you think of yesterday's prize for the? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, yeah, let's get buddy, the clip out. Buddy, by the way. we what? got. What are you talking what? about? We got an update uh, on top Tell of. Me we got an email. So yesterday, no, we haven't gotten an email about that. Uh, so yesterday, the prize for uh, if you wore costume to the happy hour, oh, uh, you got entered into a raffle. Not even like best costume. Oh, it was you had to wear a costume. And then you, you, I thought, I thought everyone yeah, there got if you wore a costume, you got entered into a raffle to win a gift card to the Barstool store. Yeah. What's I, the uh, I, I don't want to be What's mean here. Well, there's there, there's another thing where if we – essentially if we start working out, we could get money. <laughs> and if we send a photo of that, we got a physical – we could win money. <laughs> I, 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 because my what? dad does insurance. I knew companies do this. Cause yeah, it, you know it, what it I've said. Their we need. You if know, you, every if company. If their employees work out. If their employees God, get I, physicals. It, it lessens your uh, not mine. Your employee barstool. insurance. <laughs> you know what? Every company needs. Like every sports team, barstool, a common sense department. Yes, I've always said just like a. Like that whole happy hour. Th- like I, I don't want to be mean. I'm sure there are people that dressed up that I like. But I, when I saw no, that email, weren't. first of all, <laughs> I saw like three. Well, I saw that email. I said that to every group. So I was like, "What's happening?" To this company? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I was like, "Whoever, we should have actually used that as an experiment." And whoever showed up to the happy hour dressed up like you're fired. fired. <laughs> yeah. It's like you don't understand this company. Yes, <laughs> dude. I, I say it all the time about sports. I say I want to. I'll do PR for the Mets pro bono. Uh, you can still yeah, have your yeah, team, yeah, exactly. and then th- when you say to me we're gonna have the the guy play the trumpets on uh, like at a game, I'm gonna say no, 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 don't do that. Right. Fans are gonna hate that, <laughs> and you and then you can do what you want. You know, I'm not. I don't have final say. I'm doing it for free. I'm gonna tell you, me and my colleagues, we will eradicate this. <laughs> or like this is a cool idea. Go ahead, but but have somebody with some common sense give it right. a thumbs up or thumbs down before it goes out. That, that's which what is I think cool. every company could use. And it's sad that we, you know, we could now, you know. And there was a time where we didn't even need to think about the, that, but the, now we need You're going to give out a, a gift card to the Barstool store? No. No, <laughs> heavens no. no. I don't think right. that's the move. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that place every should probably get some stuff from them anyway. 50 bucks instead. Yeah. Let, them, let them spend that money wherever they see fit <laughs> instead of right back in our coffers. Also, especially <laughs> when you consider the the whole, like, gift card thing from a few years ago. Like Yeah. That's no. Maybe if they're trying to make a joke, I will. I will give him a little credit. Uh, I, no, no. I'm, I'm not, not giving the benefit of that. I'm not giving that. Yeah, me neither. That. I think it is. I think. I think someone. I think someone from content needs to be placed on the party planning committee. Yeah, because I think well, there's no one from content there. There needs to be. Like, uh, no, 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 no. A liaison that floats mm-hmm. between the two, and there's not. We're doing just... these lunch and learns now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Say what now? <laughs> oh, you don't know these? Uh, I, don't, I don't know these. You don't know these? Lunch oh, you don't know? No, I do not. No, if you want to yeah, learn sure. about a department and have some lunch, we have lunch and learns once a once a week, once a week? month, once a month, once, once a, a month, month? Yeah. about in a specific department that month. Yeah, or yeah like, we had one like one was like Tuesday. I've been going for the free. Food. I go up for the food. Yeah, the free. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't stick around for the meeting. See, they do know what they're doing though, in some department, you know, in some ways. Yeah, I mean, you don't hear the meeting. Uh, yeah, this lunch and learn was the brand strategy task force. Okay, and so you go, you eat free food, and then they. Well, you say, can like, just you can just get the food and come back downstairs. Yeah, you know, like that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not to say I, sh- I should probably learn about these comp- these these things. And I, yeah. I, I complain like I don't know anyone here. Yeah. There's ways to learn, John, but there's also ways to eat lunch alone, <laughs> and uh, I always opt for that one. <laughs> um, one of the other boy, we just got it. It, was a, it was a tough like month or whatever for you because also the short porch was. On that list as well. Uh, yeah, but short porch is still go. Yeah, but we still do it. Yeah, like it's, that we was just, just like have a, a producer. producer. But we had yeah. that shout out intern Jack helped us throughout the uh, playoffs. Yeah, so it's just like the, you can do it yourself, sort of thing. Yeah, it wasn't like such assholes. And, they really are. Yeah, it was um, not really cut. Like uh, I don't know, it didn't really affect me. Yeah, do much. you think that maybe like you should just stop doing that though in general, just because it's like who fucking cares about the Yankees about anymore? The Yankees. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I mean I love the Yankees, but it I is like. Know. It is like it's not my favorite thing to do at Barstool is like talk about the Yankees. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, I remember when I did Section Ten and I was like, it was like twice a week, and I was like, guys, I don't know if I can keep talking about the goddamn fucking Red Sox. <laughs> like, like Yankees suck, Red Sox good. What else are we talking about today? Yeah. Right, because like you have to like whatever you have to critique the team. Like it takes you out of the fan mindset. Mm-hmm. Where it's like it's not just like a, I just like watching Yankees. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. like I, I don't want to always Which have to crazy, be battling they choke with people time, on you know? Twitter. That yeah. I'm done with. That I, I think I'm. I think I'm done with get, that. Like, the whole city of Cleveland, you, I have muted. You I think. also can't like win anything. You know what I mean? It's like, right. like yeah. I'm not going to convince that you that Francisco Lindor is good and you think it's bad. Like, we're never going to agree. 
I think so. Once, I'm done. Once Tuka retired, I think I was done with the quote tweets to dunk on somebody. Yeah. I, like, if you have a stupid opinion, but, I but there are times where people are so stupid. But they are so stupid. But also sometimes I think this is the gig. That thing. Like I like I like sometimes I do the quote tweet and I'm like this is more of a reply. I could just reply to this guy. Yeah. But oh, I want people to see me. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also that's what we're here to do is like to have these conversations and and stuff and and fan yeah 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 so I'm like I don't do it seriously anymore I'll do it playfully yeah. but, but there, there are times game. where I was like I hate this fucking person fuck you I'll do it as like a joke and have some fun with it but I I, I am done quote tweeting people I genuinely disagree with and like genuinely am mad at right yeah and it gives you just such hate through your heart. Yeah. Oh, I'll see a Bro, response it, and you it, go it, to like, their ruins my profile psyche. and it's like I, I'm imagining you dying yeah, yeah, yeah I want yeah, you yeah. to die right right I yeah, literally want to watch the life the get work. sucked out of your eyes <laughs> yes how do you what thousand eyes okay I, I thought you said ass I was like Jesus That's whatever too. you could I'll <laughs> suck the life right out of your asshole I don't care where it comes out of it's yeah. fine with me yeah. oh, just crunch away in there they love that the audience loves that more than anything if I can tell you any recommendation of podcasting Chew into the, eat, eat chew into the microphone. They love it. Remember when you were doing ASMR for a while? Oh yeah. Didn't you <laughs> do the uh, over the Bella? Yeah, me, me, yeah. Marty, and Abella Danger did. Did, did you come? Have you ever watched? No, uh, have you ever ASMR watched? is not a sexual thing. Okay. In my so, uh, so to me, it's no, not. For, for so many people, my, it's my, not. for my, many people, my, it is. My follow-up question: Did you watch the Abella ASMR that she did with just a butt plug? I did not. That sounds interesting. I watched that one. Was it just like? Yeah, <laughs> really. Me, ASMR just like it's oddly Why satisfying. I mean, it turns into a porn. It's like, yeah. it's like a browser's video. Why don't you but do yeah, it ASMR with a butt doing... plug, you pussy? No, my OnlyFans days are over. Let's <laughs> talk about that. Your OnlyFans yeah. foray. Did you really make out with Tigo? Yeah, yeah. That's why I mean, the Astros won. Did not that's why see? the Asteroids won. I, I was, you think that was trick photography? I, I, <laughs> I saw I the not, picture. I, I didn't see. I didn't see. Can I? Can I see the kiss itself? Yeah, I mean, you gotta subscribe, bro. No, it's all on the YouTube. <laughs> I only made it to make a video. Like, I, I never was actually going to. Did you get any subscribers? I know you had. Yeah, I, uh, I ended up making. I like, gave her a cut. I, I made sure I made less than six hundred dollars because that's when they send you a tax form. So I think I ended up at like five seventy, and I shut it down. I sent Tico like a hundred fifty. Dude, five seventy is not bad, bro. When you were bro, talking you about you had a hell of a year, right? You won ten k like five times. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're like you're like you're like Pete Alonso. Like all of his salary is just like uh, bonus, the, the right? Fucking, uh, home run derby and right shit. Here, it's it's a long build up, but I'll I'll show you the. Here, I'll put it on here. Are you air dropping it? No. Oh. Dude, this is so awkward. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, she no. is totally like running the show, you know? <laughs> is it tongue? No tongue. Oh, oh are you sure? Tika wants tongue. I am <laughs> wildly uncomfortable that was, and a, I, I, and a dude, little bit I, aroused I was going to say a little bit aroused myself I'm committed to my art yeah <laughs> I mean like I don't know if it was Tico doing the titty thing afterwards, but like it, it, that was there it was. was I'll tell was you what, oddly, I, I have had worst kisses. <laughs> that was oddly sexual for something so incredibly awkward. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, was, I, was, I was, might have like quiet. And, in my head, whole like, new office. fetish unlocked. <laughs> the whole office. <laughs> <laughs> the whole office was watching. It I was bet. Erica walked in like oh right my before. God, um, that is yeah, so wild. What if you guys yeah. just fuck? <laughs> Nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't shit where I eat. You know? <laughs> what? I know you said there was no plan B, but literally, what do you think you'd be doing? Like, do you think you would have gone to like know. WFAN and been like one of those? Me? Guys I mean, I always like, like there was a time where I wanted to write uh, like TV. I thought it would be cool, which is something I still think. Yeah, is yeah, that possible. that's not a job that you can just do though. That's like you gotta have another job first. I feel like right, right, you know? right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'd probably be. I don't know. Maybe be a producer at fucking. ESPN New York, or maybe, maybe I would have yeah. been able to get like an but like overnight all these are like shift. still pretty fucking good jobs. But like, I mean, Fordham's like a great program. Yeah, bro. yeah. Like they yeah. really so do. Would have had like, people. What like, did you do? How, like, what was your role at Fordham? What it, What was your? You covered the Yankees. Did yeah, you do I did. I did a lot of beat did you reporting. Football? Like, what did you? I did Yankee beat reporting, Giants, Knicks, Rangers. I did one on one. I did baseball play by play, a little football play by play, and color for basketball. I'm yeah. just like podcasts and stuff, right. but I always like the creative. You didn't like, podcast thought, at Fordham? Yeah, is that? I I I just I can't even process like podcasts existing in college. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it was only like 
six like, years like ago. one on one I, I, I'm just I'm just like I'm picturing my own college experience. yeah it was like we turned we there was like on deck was like the MLB podcast uh, NFL Friday was the NFL Got podcast or, and I always like that stuff more th- I thought play by play was so boring yeah because it was like a beat report or beat report. I like so I got to go to like every Yankee game, but like yeah. it was just like there's no room for creativity. I here. remember I, I I no there's room for creativity. Just pretend to believe DMs that are made up and stuff like that. <laughs> no, we're talking about play by play instead of. Oh, I thought you were saying the beat. You said beat too, right? You said there's no room for creativity. There. Yeah, yeah. There's less there, but at least yeah. there could be more. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. Shout the out the uh, the play by play shit is like. Also, you're never gonna like once a guy gets that position, he's there for like thirty years, forever. Yeah. So like, if you're if you want to be one of the New York City guys, it's like especially like, what's a guy like Ryan, a hit. Ryan Ruco, 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 I can never Ruco. say it. Ruco. When, once he get, I mean, he's like he was like 25 when he got the gig. He's not gonna stop doing oh, it until yeah, he's no. 75. There's he, a 50 year window <laughs> where you nobody else can do it. You know what I mean? It's like you're done. I also remember this summer. I worked this summer doing. Uh, the minor league teams for, for oh, life in the minors, life in the minors. Yeah. And um, I was assigned to the Mets. All of the guys assigned to the Yankees. This is by the way, it's like, can I get another water? Do you have another water over there? Um, you had uh, a bunch of kids do the Staten Island Yankees. A bunch of kids do the Brooklyn Cyclones, which is the Mets single a. And then every week you put together like a four minute, like, radio podcast type thing so every week there was like a theme it lo- it, you learned how to do like interviews and how to cut up the yeah. footage and then write a script all that kind of shit mm-hmm. everybody uh from the yankees just quit they just like <laughs> didn't do it uh, i actually think uh guns was was one of them really yeah he was he was running he just didn't do it, it was, everybody <laughs> will it was like a team of like four or five everybody quit Everybody fucking quit the Mets as well. I was literally the only kid doing it that year. Maybe one or two others would, like, pop in every now and then. So I went to – I would try to go to both games. Like, I was driving from fucking yeah, Brooklyn to Staten what? Island because I was, you know – was like A young you know, go-getter? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't – I mean, And as I was doing the Yankees. It was, I would go, like – I know, don't drive know. highways, so I would take oh, the Long you? Island Railroad – from my house to Penn Station, then I take the subway, the one train down to South Ferry, then I take the swim? ferry to Staten Island. That is it was crazy. brutal. Why don't you drive on highways? It's just at this Why point. Why don't you do that for like, a video? Why don't you do that? Like, yes, yeah, Tommy yeah, learns I to drive the highway. I, that's a good idea. Life for. is a highway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it. But you, like you live in the city now, so obviously you don't right. do that much anymore. Like but. I went to college in a city. I I live in a city. I, at home, I don't really have to go on the highways. It's whatever. I'll, Are I you gonna have learn. kids like a family and shit one day? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> imagine like your dad can't <laughs> fucking drive. Yeah, I, I, like, I for them, tell my kids I can't go on the highway right now. I would kill myself. I'll have to figure that out by then. But I'm I'm at least ten years, fifteen years away from any of that. Dude, I I had a girlfriend like that where um. Her, her mom wouldn't drive on the highway. So her dad would have to drive them everywhere. But that, I know moms who do that kind of shit. But like, Dads can't do that. Bro. I did, my grandmother you know was the same that way. That my, gra- my, my grandmother no, no, also fair. didn't have her license. So like my grandfather had to drive her everywhere. Mm-hmm. But I, like, I, I'm like, that's that's a relationship of yesteryear. Because yeah. I don't play that shit. Like, it, it, it would be times where like, my grandmother was like, going to New York to like, have a weekend with her friends. And my grandfather would fucking drive her. And then drive home. <laughs> And then drive and pick her up, uh, and then drive home. And it's like, what are you, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, that you're, that is. You're that, from an era. You're from a different yeah, really time, is, and you're letting your show get run right now. No, but yeah. that is from Whipped. also an era. Yeah. Of like, I could see that also. The era is like my, you know, women are completely yeah. useless. So I must <laughs> drive my lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, sweetheart. And it also, it obviously wasn't. His, he, he didn't love it. It wasn't his idea that she couldn't get a license. It yeah. was like, it's like, why don't you get a goddamn license? She's like, well, I'm 60 now. I'm like, yeah, I know. You got 20 years left. I mean, to- Tommy, <laughs> you're gonna be saying that forever. I mean, I have a license. I just don't drive on that. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's no, that's yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I, I, if I if I end up having to do it one day, I'll fucking figure it out. It can't be that hard. It's really not. It's easier than driving right. I, d- I don't like driving in general. I get distracted. I I, I'm, I'm not a driver myself. myself. I don't. I don't really care to drive. I I don't mind doing it alone. Um, I don't like driving a group of people. Me, if there's, I if hate there's that. Yeah. You guys all fucking complain. If there's a group of people, uh, I make sure I'm not driving. It was the first day I got my. Uh, we yeah, get my to a license. I just crack a beer right away. I'm like, oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like senior year, and I was one of the first two ish of my friends to get a license. And so I would, I drove home from school. It was like a Friday. I was like, I got the cart today. Like, we're gonna go to whatever fucking Wendy's. Like after mm-hmm, school, mm-hmm. and like we we pulled out like a block and a half 
and I almost got hit by a car because I didn't look both ways at a stop sign <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Or, or you know, we had a stop sign, they didn't, and I looked one way, then I forgot to look back the other way, and we almost got crushed. And that really put a damper on how much I like driving. Because <laughs> everybody was like, you fucking suck at driving. <laughs> I, like, I don't want to do this anymore. I once was in the car with a kid. Uh, he, We were driving on the highway, and like all of a sudden, he just kind of like, slowly veers off and I was like yo, yo, yo do careful 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 dude 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 careful yeah. and he like woke up and was like oh, oh. Oh. like swerved back in we're all good and he was like we were all like Mike are you fucking kidding me dude like you were asleep <laughs> and he was like I'll be honest the way that that felt like that could have been like two minutes. <laughs> I, was like, I think I was asleep for like a long time. That's so just, there was one time I, I was in high school. Another friend was driving on like a it wasn't a highway. It's like a turnpike. There were you know maybe go forty miles per hour. There were red lights and okay he yeah, yeah. Ju- there was a, there was a clear red light. It hadn't like turned recently red, and he just mosey on like like not even thinking, just went through the red light and like all of us how to say we're like Jason like I that <laughs> light was red. Was it, was it other cars or no? I mean, we didn't get hit or anything. Right. Like, thankfully, like we could. Right. That could have easily been a story of like six teenagers like getting dead. Hit. It would have even been like drunk or anything. It would have just been like just kid forgets what a red light means. <laughs> like forgot he had. Like just went through without a care in the world. I, like I, I, I've always said, sixteen for license is nuts. It's very yeah. Very here, here, here you go. At, at that age, it felt like you waited forever. But like looking back now, you're like, I shouldn't have been driving. No. Here's Dude, a three thousand pound fucking you know death trap for you that, you go, have to that be can also go hundred miles an hour. Yeah. My my roommate in college. Uh, had a rule that um, if he felt he deserved the light, he runs. He'd run the red. <laughs> like if someone was slow and they were the last one to go through, he was like, "He's like, no, I should have gotten that. I should have. Like, they should have been driving smart." I so I'm agree with it. what he's saying. I just don't think you can take yeah, it's it. Just it a was dangerous principle was a, to a, apply. A very anxiety-inducing process I every bet. time I drove with him. Because guess what? He yeah. felt like he deserved a lot of fucking uh-huh. lights. <laughs> That I disagreed with him on. I was like, you didn't deserve that one. You didn't deserve that. One. Yeah, there was no vote. It was just it was a dictatorship, whether he deserved it or not. I, I, I one of the questions that we do on ATI is, um, uh, what's something somebody can do that makes you instantly hate them? If you are, if you're turning left, and you don't go halfway through the intersection to let other people get oh, into the yeah, intersection yeah, yeah. too, so you just take. Because, you know, certain lights, like, you only basically get one turn per fucking, because of oncoming traffic. Right, you know I mean? right. If you don't give me the room, and then I'm honking, and people are like, it's a red light, or, you know, people are coming. I'm like, I know, I don't want you to go all the way. I want you to go half the way. <laughs> I'm screaming at that. I hate those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afterwards, I chase them down, and I try to run them. <laughs> I do them. like good road rage, but selectively. Oh. Like, oh, I'm um, not going to honk at someone that could take me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, if this little old lady uh, rolls through a stop sign, it's fuck you. Lay on that. (laughs) You old skank off the road. (laughs) Mine is just me in the fucking. In the car, I don't, I don't ever honk, but I'll punch the shit out of the stealing. I'll punch the shit. Out. There are times where I've been punching the the steering wheel so hard where I'm like, I got to chill out. The airbags gonna come out. Yeah, <laughs> like which I'll, is so I'll, funny because you're so like whatever. You know, I, it's, it's got to come out at some point. Kevin. Yeah, that's my dad. I, I the prefer same it happen way. in the confines of my car. He's like incredibly calm, mild manner, and then like in a car, like he'll just this piece of shit. I hope he wraps himself around a pole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've said yeah, that like before, growing up, was like, I was get scared. Like, you never see your dad. Or I didn't yeah. really see my dad angry. So. It's like, geez, my, my dad had uh, inanimate object rage. He would never get mad at us or people, but we would piss him off, you know, and he would just like build it up. And then, like, one time I watched him basically like massacre a dishwasher. <laughs> like, it, it, he, he's also the king, of, and he passed this down to me. Like, when um, the other day I was vacuuming and the plug was pretty f- what? vacuuming. Vacuum. I know what it is. Do you? I'm surprised to hear you were doing it. <laughs> I was vacuuming. Is that that crazy that I was vacuuming? I don't think so. No, I don't. Why is that crazy? <laughs> Why is you vacuuming crazy? Yeah, is that it's crazy? two children. <laughs> yeah, you don't think I got a vacuum? Is anyone else here surprised by the fact that Kevin I, was vacuuming? I, I vacuum all the time. No. You're not surprised by this? No. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. There's, there's Bro, fucking... I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying like you live in squalor, but like I, I figured you're the cleaning person. They came in vacuums. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. But like there are times where it's just like, you know, they fucking knock over a whole thing of Cheerios. And like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. the point was... I'll dust bust now and then. No vacuum. A little dust bust. Good dust bust. Yeah. yeah. Good How dust about bust. a Roomba? You have a Roomba? No. 
Nah. I once bought a Roomba for Frank the Tank. This is this is the beginning of our <laughs> our fucking rivalry, by the way. Bought that man a Roomba. Do you know how much Roombas cost? A couple hundred? I don't know. How much do you think a Roomba cost? Four hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Holy Sheesh. seven five hundred dollars. <laughs> and this was back when Frank the Tank was a was a big charity case <laughs> and uh he uh people were like he need, like someone needs to help him like he can't clean up his apartment or whatever and so i was like i'll i'll help you out frank i'll get your i'll get your room and um i did well i i committed to it and then i saw the prices and i'm like fuck because i thought it was gonna be like 150 bucks like this, what is it a 12 foot skeleton <laughs> 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 so i uh mm. i did that it was like seven hundred bucks, and I have it set, had it sent right to him, and I never heard a word back about it. <laughs> Did you say thank you or anything? <laughs> I didn't even get a thank you. What? Did they ever that, use that? It? That absolutely I'm doesn't sure surprise me, he, but it still shocks me. I would is. hope he used it. I hope he put it to use. Um, but yeah, not even, a, not even a thank you. <laughs> So. I'm surprised you wore that for this long. I, Frankie didn't say thanks for a T-shirt. I did a podcast rant about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where were we? Um, anyway, so Tommy smokes. Um, when you were going through the Tommy Smokes transition, if you will, I think you're pretty much, you've transitioned at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to call it transgender. I want to call it like trans personality. Yeah. <laughs> trans yeah, but I don't think I have like trans persona. I was always myself. Persona. I yeah, yeah, say, like, yeah. You're, like, uh, how people viewed you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, there had to have been a moment where you all of a sudden were like, "Oh, holy shit! I'm, I'm yeah, like, I'm I Tommy Smokes." Pinpoint. So I mean, that literally was like such an insane. It was my last two months of my senior year of college too. Oh wow! So it was like the greatest two months of my life. Wow. <laughs> like that. Just ever like hanging with your friends every night, like going out to bars, like senior events, and then like, oh, I'm also like going to Vegas and like yeah, uh, San Antonio or whatever. But yeah, there was like. So I believe it was Thursday, March 15th was the first day I did games with Dave in the office. Right. We won a bunch, and then we did it again the Friday, won a bunch more. And then the Saturday was uh, St. Patrick's Day. And, like, we had, like, I went to my friend's house for, like, a day party. And then I remember walk. it, it was Bros Hill around when you were there. Uh, for us, it was girls were living there. So it was, oh, you so mean the Rose Hill Apartments? Yeah, yeah, it was called Bros Hill. Yeah, for us it was called the brothel. Uh, and I like walked by, and everyone was just like, <laughs> a little less clever. Yeah. People were like, where the whores live? <laughs> <laughs> it's where the prostitutes are. <laughs> I think actually uh, it was banned probably until like you guys came along. I don't think guys were allowed to live there for a few years because there was a seer, uh, there was a year of guys that just like destroyed the fuck. Yeah. Really? That's so like, out. just bring the bring the sluts in. They'll just have <laughs> sex on it. They won't they won't break anything. Uh, so you're at Bros Hill. Uh, yeah, and I they just like everybody started yelling like oh tommy smokes and i was really? like this is weird why <laughs> like i know like you guys have always talked about like, it was like a transition slowly like it wasn't you, overnight it was... for me it was literally overnight. Yeah. like one night i'm just sitting in the corner of mugsies with my friends and like a week later people were, like tommy let's get well, a picture, a picture. Yeah. and i was like this is weird <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> but is i weird. liked it that is like, yeah i mean it's like you know mini celebrity but like were you um did you just say like fuck it let's go or were you thinking about like wait how do i i mean i was I always cautious of like uh like, like i don't want to embarrass myself or something yeah, so yeah, i was i mean i don't know i think i handled it pr as well as you could definitely when it was just instantly see, thrown yeah. at you like i could see mm, vast majority of people senior year of college get uh get gifted a little bit of like celebrity and you're turning into a Absolute douchebag, fucking instantly. Yeah, no, I know. definitely didn't do that because I was it always cautious. Of, yeah, it, took me a few, <laughs> it was a slow transition. But I was even afraid to that whole run. I was even like my t Twitter u display name was still like Tom Scabelli because I was yeah. like I always hated when like we hired an intern. And, and like in a day, like, like Mikey yeah. Flash had like yeah. all yes. over his social. Yes. Yeah. Like even Bar in the midst of this, Mikey, I was like, like, "Damn, people are gonna say like I changed if I yeah. change it to Tommy Smoke." So yeah. I was always like had that in like the back of, of my right. mind. Right. That's what, good. What are a you now? Humility. What's, what's your my oh, my like username is Tommy Smokes. The handle is still at Tom Tommy Smokes. Just because mainly like I don't feel. Oh well, first of all, Tommy Smokes wasn't available. I think I have it now, but I don't know. All my, like all your mentions in the past wouldn't work then. So it's like whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. I had to change mine. <laughs> yeah. They've, they've made me change mine. You, uh, you were like the, the guinea pig for that. Yeah. You went it, viral it, with something as it was, Jay Fredelberg. It was, it was right? uh, I went viral with fucking um, Jared Lorenzen. Dude, that still is crazy. That was like, that was crazy. just a fucking, me and my buddy were in my apartment and 
like I, I, I think I saw like Jared Lorenzo's gonna play like arena football. Yeah. And Sean was like, "Dude, we have to watch." And like, if it, yeah, it wasn't, you live tweeted it. If right? it wasn't for like his inspiration or his his excitement, I would I would have been like, "That's weird." He's playing and kept scrolling. Yeah. And then we put the game on. He was playing for like the Lizards or some yes. some arena football team. And then I was just like vining and like live tweeting like this. Do you remember and like that? Peter King was quoting and it went like yeah. it went like crazy. That's how our relationship with Lorenzen started. Right. And um, Dude, once again Feidelberg's responsible for all this money and <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Jared Lorenzen was the exact oh, was the reason why we yeah, got uh, the turn. Turn it. Yeah. We're like to the pen <laughs> deal so Yeah. Huh? I said we're like to the pen deal. Like, yeah. You're, you're, you're the dumb the billion dollar man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have no money. <laughs> <laughs> this is always my favorite yeah. part of the podcast. But you got that skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but anyway, once I went viral for that, Dave was like, he's like there's just no mention of Barstool anywhere. You got to change your name. And I was like, all right. So I changed it to Fights Barstool. Now I have the lamest fucking Twitter handle in the world. Yeah. I do still, I did sneaky. Like before I announced that I changed it, I did get. Change I, your old I still have Jay Feinberg, yeah. yeah I mean, I, although I don't have no fucking idea what the password is. No, I, no I have shot. the account no somewhere, shot. but fuck it. You've I also, know. as we've discussed, turned into the worst Twitter user of all time, right? It's so bad. John's right? talking about retiring. He's so bad at Twitter. Why? Like, just not, like, just sending bad tweets? Just just the worst tweets, dude. <laughs> For real? Like, I, I, mean, I would have said you're one of the better Twitter people here. I mean, I haven't, maybe I'm riding off your old. Yeah, I know. I used to be great. I used to yeah. be great. I'm Brady in it right now. Um, <laughs> but the, by the way, Brady's still great. If you watch the tape, he's fucking unbelievable. Okay, um, Stephen Chen. <laughs> but the, um, uh, yeah, I just I, I lost it. I, I like I, I can admit it. I lost it. I don't there are there are humbling it. times where like uh, I'm sure everyone goes through where it's like, how does this tweet have this few likes? Uh, like, I think there's like actually something in the algorithm sometimes yeah. <laughs> where it's like this one got lost in the show. But like, you know what? No, statistically, happened, this is impossible. What what happened? Kind of to, to <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> <we're tweet stuff. laughs> it it kind of ruined it for me. Is uh, I don't know if you've had the update where you have the eye or you see how many people saw the tweet. No, I mean you could do like tweet analytics or something. Yeah, but like it's no, it's just on it's like, just on my Twitter. Strange. I'll show you. Um, oh, I the, don't like that because no. like, here's all the people that didn't interact with right. Tweet. But it's 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 like that. But it's also like oh wait no it's gone now. Yeah no it's gone. I used to have it. It's gone now. Well, I, I, none of those are your tweets. No, these are mine. That's mine. Oh my god, 30, it's gone. Thirty-nine likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quote tweet about. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. But okay. anyway, what ruined it for me was that I had this eye emoji that would tell me how many people saw a tweet. And I used to always gauge good tweets by the amount of retweets and the amount of likes and stuff yeah, like that. Definitely. And definitely. I saw that like maybe I'd have 50 retweets, 400 likes, and like 30,000 people would see it. And then I had other tweets that had zero retweets and 100 likes, and it was seen by like 60,000 people. And I was like, oh, so none of this fucking matters then. It's like the regular like, season right. in baseball. Who cares? Right. Like, he's like, all right, so the, the stuff that I gauge it on doesn't affect it. And at what's fucking better? At all? Like to have more people see it? I see it, more, more people see it. it. Right. Right? I, I guess it depends on what it is. Because seeing is also that I scroll by it, that I interact with right. it, that I read it, you know. It's also humbling to be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I have 300,000 followers, but no one uses this goddamn app. Uh, so that, that is. So 40,000 people saw Bro, it. we just put all <laughs> our eggs in the wrong fucking basket. It's so I do annoying. still think it's the gr it's a gr it's the best app. It's the best. By far. I mean, it's obviously horrible for like your mental health. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Other than that, like Elon Musk buying it, like he. I hope it, it gives some juice back. I hope so too. It. And and I think what he's talking about is pretty cool. Like, But also, I read Elon's, his... all Elon's fanboys fucking suck. So oh, everyone who like comes on the app for you, Elon Musk. That's not going to be a fun. Yeah, that's fair. But he was just saying, like, I think that the world needs like a town square, and that this what this is. And Which it really I is. Completely like, agree with. Yeah, that. Like, Lou, Lou has always said that too. Where like you need a real time place to have live events. And not there's pictures. nothing better for live events. Yes. Yeah, it, yeah it, we're not we're not doing like edited videos. Cool. That's TikTok. That's fine. That's a whole other form of entertainment. This is like yeah, you get live real time reactions. You get we can all watch the same thing and converse with each other. And you'll also just get like. Oh my God, Kim Kardashian's having a fucking meltdown. Yeah. We're watching like it, directly. This this girl, a thousand miles away, is fucking on her Twitter and blowing up her career. It's news. It like, yeah. I, I, oh, if I, I want to see about a topic, I Twitter search. It. I, I search that. Google uh, search it. It's my search engine at this point. Yeah, like, uh, it, it and, should be so much more popular. And it makes you miserable. And that yeah, it drives me crazy when people are like you're on Twitter, and I'm like you're too stupid for Twitter. I am. Uh, I have a higher intellect than you. I don't know what you're. You know, right. You're 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 double clicking on your p puppy pictures. Fine. Come over here where we're having uh, discourse regarding, you know. <laughs> Kanye West. Yeah. Instagram, I think, is uh, like the worst to spend time on. 
Like it's important. I don't important, spend any time on Instagram. But I, I just ne- use I it post, to post on like, it. My own right. shit. I'll, and I'll like, scroll stories for like when I'm when there's nothing else. I when, start to, and then I'm like, what am I doing? The same yeah. thing. Like yeah. I, I won't even look it. I'll just tap, 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 and then I'll be like, all right, there are probably some new tweets. Totally. I'll get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's about killing enough time to get back to new <laughs> tweets. Yeah, which is crazy. Even TikTok, like you get lost in a rabbit hole on TikTok. Like yeah. Instagram, I don't do. I won't do TikTok. Um. Why? Because you're afraid of. I am. I don't want you. But yeah, Instagram's like a messaging app to me. I bet it is, Tommy. Well, Tommy. <laughs> I, I won't yeah. do TikTok because I, I, I so often opine how I don't like Twitter. How I don't like social media. How it doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. And I just, I'm I'm staying true to, like, I am not getting sucked into another one. Uh, I'm, I, what, with I TikTok? Will, yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm, yeah. I, and, like, it'll, it'll undoubtedly affect my career. And it'll undoubtedly affect our career. <laughs> um, Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, but I'm just like, it doesn't make me feel good. And it doesn't make me happy. It, it, I'll tell and you I'm what, fucking it can not make you feel it. good. It, TikToks <laughs> go viral like so. Mm-hmm. I'll, if I have a TikTok I'll, I'll going use, viral, I'll, I'll just use, hear in that. Just, I will make TikTok. Uh, 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 I will make TikTok. Like, well, last that, night, I had I one that got like... App. Uh, like a million views almost and I was just the whole night ah. I was just like waiting see, for that's it what I mean. I don't, new I don't followers want to I don't new want to followers like I don't even watch all I watch TikTok is my page I don't watch my <laughs> page followers yet. I have 191,000 on TikTok wow that's the most I have on any app wow but and you put Tommy's thoughts on there and shit yeah I put a bunch of I don't know just random stuff put, on there uh, What's your face on there? Thumbnails of her, and then get all the views Hannah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, milk her like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it was so genuine. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely. not a joke. He said, "Milk her like a cow, stone faced." <laughs> I know. When we're doing uh, TikToks together, I'm literally uh, what's the fucking the guy in Miracle? Uh, Kurt her Brooks. Yeah, it's just like, again, 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 <laughs> again. And I've gotten her to be a decent actor, not good. I, I wouldn't, so I, I wouldn't dare say good, but I she's s- gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that video where you basically made that video, and I could tell you were being serious. It was, there, it was completely genuine. The, the best was, uh, you know, he gave her some line. It's like, uh, that's because I'm gluten free, Tommy. Whatever the line was, and she said like, and then it's like action, and she's like, uh, it's because I have that food allergy, you know. And Tommy goes like. It's just, it's just not the script. It's just, it's just not what I gave you. Yeah. It's just not what I told you to say. Yeah. Entirely different words. There is no room for improv in my... If, as a director, I do not allow improv. You read the words that I said and you like it. <laughs> the, the original uh, gluten-free, you dumb bitch, is one yeah. of my favorite. I show that video to like everybody. Yeah, when you're, when you're chomping on a chip and you're like, you're dumb bitch. <laughs> it is so fun. Again, genuine and funny. Uh, that... But... It, it, is, does Hannah laugh about this? Uh, sometimes. I, <laughs> she doesn't she, really get what she's doing. <laughs> has, she, has she ever been like... There's the been times out? where she's been like, I don't want to do this one. And I'll be like, Hannah, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. We're making magic. Like, like there was... there And everyone... She's, people she'll be li- asking for Hannah when I'm done with you. She'll not. admit this. She'll be like, there's been ones that like... I think the most viewed vi- might be my or one of my most viewed tiktok ever it's like five million videos and she was like i'm not do- or videos and she was like i'm not doing this one she was like this one doesn't make any sense it's not funny and, and i and said it. how about you just hop on my back and i'll carry <laughs> us to the finish line <laughs> and i'll show you the goddamn results at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> What did she say when that one like popped? She, up? No, she was like, "You get, yeah, you're, yeah, you're right, you're right." right. You know, and now, guess what? Guess who doesn't get doubted? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, it was a slow progression to him turning into. <laughs> yeah, over nice. I mean, yeah. the the oh, four years. winning mm. survivor was the, you know, uh, I remember you, you solidified your your Tomminess. Your your like yeah, and you then know, all the other ones. What yeah, I, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, but Survivor was like, you talked about Survivor, you got here because of Survivor, you called your shot, and those bozos somehow let you win it. It was amazing. What what I don't remember, no I remember you you of, that win, moment, you? What? of that moment. Did you think you were going to win? Yeah, I, I thought, well, not going into it. Like going in, So it actually started, you asked me to make like a Survivor yeah. on the Office, yeah, like right. a KFC Radio Live show. Right. And when they asked me to do it, I was like, I can't do it. Like they're going to vote me out first. Yeah. Like they know. But once and then you were in the final once vote, after, knew- Honestly, after one vote, I was like, oh, this is pretty, like these people, don't, like <laughs> I'm going to be able to do this, I think. <laughs> and that was the same thing for Most Dangerous Game, or it was the same thing. It was like going into it, I was like, I'm, no, I'm going to win this. And after one vote, it's like, oh. This I got you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I remember why. you being so surprised that I think it was it was me who was being the loudest about it. It was you and Casey that were like, 
were vote like, him vote, out. Vote him out. Yeah. And you were like, why would you vote me out? I was like, because you want to yeah, win. But, yeah. No, I was more like, I didn't want what you were saying to affect the game. Okay. It's like if these okay. idiots I can't you figure like, out for themselves. <laughs> like I didn't care that you guys weren't root. Like, it was more like, or it was more like I should be able to not have that outside force mm-hmm, affect mm-hmm, the game. Like mm-hmm. if these idiots can't figure out to vote me out, I don't need Feidelberg yelling it. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's fair. A, that's fair. That, yeah. That's fair. Because yeah. I I mean, I thought you were just surprised that I'm like I would vote him out. Yeah. And oh like, no, that's fine. But it's like keep that to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I understand that. Yeah, okay. I mean. I, I was saying it as the fucking host. And they just, yeah, they just Rowan kind of did the same thing too. It's like guys, <laughs> that's why it's all the more impressive. Yeah. It was like I don't know how or yeah, why, but like, yeah. we, we beat two teams today. We beat the, the Cowboys and the Rams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that, yeah, that was like the uh, when when you won that, and then yeah, you really did. Like I hate you, and so I, I want the worst for you. Okay, um, didn't but I know you felt that way. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, well, you're the leader of the Yankees. Alpha. You're the alpha. Well, at, at least temporarily right now. It's, we're, you know. <laughs> we're the last one. Everyone else getting canceled on that podcast this year. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're the last one standing. And the podcast the itself. Time, <laughs> two co-hosts and the show got canceled. Yeah. We've got. Tommy's still standing. We've got there, about what? Like, chugging along. <laughs> we've got like 10 weeks till like a, a, two, a couple months before the end of the year. But if if by the end of the year you're not canceled, like this could just be. I the year tried that, to that get canceled. Portion. I just did a whole video trying to get canceled. <laughs> Couldn't even happen. I <laughs> am so proud of you for actually dropping the f bomb and bleeping it out. Hey, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Enjoy rotting in hell, fat. Okay, Tommy. Because I heard right, I you, heard you were. Did you not? Uh, I won't. I won't say what I said. What I didn't, oh, didn't say. Oh, you said another f word. I won't say. I won't. I don't want to ruin the movie, Matrix. You know who's a great fucking like Pat? Pat's. He didn't break kayfabe. Pat said that you said it. Yeah. He. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Because I said I was like it. It. it you can tell. Like I think if you had mouthed it or whatever, I was like it wouldn't have been the same. So like, he was like Tommy's being such a pussy. He didn't. He w- didn't want to say it. We we talked him into it. Yeah, uh, well, I won't say. Just anymore. say what you said. We I just know. said I said fans you instead. Fucking fans. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, that's fine because like I'll just cut it. The way uh, you did yeah. the fuck, like yeah, and then I just gotta find so a, a word that sounds similar. It was just so like the way like have fun burning it out, you fucking fans. <laughs> it was. It is actually I was <laughs> howling. Like who or Nick the other day I was talking to, he was like. You like you didn't care at all. Like that's just now out on the internet. Like people seeing you call gay people like this. Or I was like, no, I didn't get any negative feedback. It's a, I mean, it's a joke. It's uh, yeah, not, yeah. Well, but, but like, you, you would think. St- so, I mean, yeah. that doesn't matter yeah, now. Really like, does. it, some, it matters. I, I, I think. We, I mean, we, if he said the n word and bleeped it, I, I don't think it would fly. I, I we're not even. Let's say I said like whatever. Another word that starts with n and cut it that same way. Yeah, there would be would, a lot more would negative. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think the F one is almost back. I don't want to say Oh, we've been saying that. Yeah. But it's yeah. like... <laughs> it's like... I, I mean, if, we've, if said I, it, we've said it openly on this podcast. It's so a lie. <laughs> if I dropped it by accident live on air, I wouldn't be like, my career is over. No, mm. agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Mm. Like, if I just said Tommy's a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was like, whatever. We'll that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, F, uh, F-bombs and... Um, I. Th- you know, retarded is kind of a yeah. That's fine. The, that, that's know? worked its back way. That was a, just a medical diagnosis for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just bring your kid to the doctor. I don't know. He's fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I can't pinpoint it. <laughs> Did you have a moment where um, you were like, "Oh my god, I'm getting pussy." Getting what? Pussy. What do you mean? Like fucking girls. That's the oh. meanest question I've ever heard asked on the show. Yeah. Uh, no, there. <laughs> de- I mean, like, no, there's a clear moment at Barstool where you're like. Oh, things have changed. It was a little bit like the last couple months of Fordham where it's like girls were talking to me more at the bar and like me yeah. and my friend group were like, yeah, That's I can't like so and so, she's talking to you at the bar right, right now. I can't imagine getting the bar stool bump in your in your like social life in college. That's yeah, crazy. but I, I was I was like so new to it that but I didn't know what to I think it was more after like my Instagram grew after the like the vape god video, I would say. That was where that turned up. a corner. And then you that where I was like, wow, that girls you started are fucking me ignoring me. Still one of my favorite stories. Oh yeah, person. yeah. I do forget. I generally did not. See <laughs> he, he just ignored I, you right now. I generally did not see. You. I was. What was that? I was going to the movies. This is when I lived over in Murray Hill. I was going to the movies. I was walking down Second Ave. Or maybe I was walking down Third at the time, and before I crossed over to Second, and I just walked by Tommy and this chick in like a crop top and fucking like tight leggings. Smoke. Like, Damn, yeah. Tommy's with a fucking rocket. And I kind of like I wasn't gonna be like, hey guys, what's up? But I kind of was just like wait, you know, and you're waiting to be like, 
what's up, man? Yeah. And like, they just both, they both, <laughs> like, bye, man. Man. I didn't say, I would have said hi. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. I would have, I would have wanted, I would have wanted you I to see. I come down I would have made sure you've seen, like, <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Heading back to my apartment at the yeah. moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you're catching the 10 o'clock show alone? Fun. <laughs> I'm heading home. I'm having sex with this girl right here, right next to me. You, see that? you f. <laughs> well, Probably has to cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you. Yeah, because it was. It, it's just that. That. I always think about where I was in life when it was slow and steady. And by that point, I was like. I was single for a little while, um, but you know, if you're in college or fresh out of college and things start to cook here, it's socially, it's just got to be crazy. Yeah, because yeah, you can like get good. into places and get bottles and like chicks. And but it is also, I always whatever. think that in the back of my head too. Is I, I like I hate cutting a line. Like, yeah. I, I hate waiting, but like. I'm never gonna go and be like, "Oh, Tommy smokes." No, like, yeah, you know, like, no, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's one not. thing of like yeah. you set it up ahead of time or whatever. Like no. someone knows you, but well, I just feel so. You, you know, if you were in line and someone was like, "Is that Tommy smokes?" Come on, you cut the line. Would you oh. cut the line? In a heart, yeah, it's heartbeat. happened before. But yeah, I would not. I, mean, I would not walk up to the front. I'd be like, never. Yeah, but I mean, you know what's worse to do is then people are like, "Why are you standing in line, dude?" I'm like, I don't know, because I'm a uh, normal fucking person who's yeah, not going to walk up to that, a you, like, the you know who I am, let me in. Demoralizing yeah. thing of all time. It was uh, Common Ground. I don't know if you guys know. It's yeah. a, like a club in New York City. Me and Glennie went last year. It was Brianna Chicken Fried's birthday. They had yeah. a table. They were all set up inside. They're like, you guys come. Me and Glennie got there. And like, they had a table. So like, there was the general admission line. We we're like, all right, we're not going to. Like, let's just go and say, like, oh, our friends got a table sure. inside. Sure. So we're up to this bouncer. We're like, hey, like, uh, we we have a, a like a table in there, and the guy just looked us up and down, laughed, and said, "Get in line." <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Brutal. And then so, the, like another person came out, was like, "No, they're actually good." Like, cut, and, and he like apologized. He's like, "I'm so sorry." I was like, "That was mean." <laughs> that, <laughs> that, was that was mean. Bro. That was mean. That you was just very was rude. Mean. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the only time I ever been to Common Ground was uh, for Rudy's birthday last year, I think, two years ago. Um, and it was, uh, it was w one of my like girlfriends came down from, from Massachusetts and she ended up getting hammered and she passed out in between two booths. Like she was sitting in our, at our table and she had her legs on like this, all this, this girl's table over here and was just like conked out like slumped that. and, and they were like, can you get your friend out of here? And we were just like. I don't know that girl. That's your friend. And we had him going for like 20 minutes. But there are other girls just screaming like, do you know who this girl is? <laughs> 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 like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen that girl in my fucking life. That's your friend. Okay, how about you get her like on our fucking table? <laughs> There's like 12 girls trying to figure out who this girl was. Like, Did you bring her? Did you bring her? <laughs> um, all right, man. So now, now. Um, Almost just got a trolley horse. Sorry. <laughs> Did you say? You Almost got, got a, a trolley horse. horse in my foot, oh. but I fought it off. I know that game. Um. So yeah. So you are you doing Tommy thoughts? I mean, the, I not officially. I, I just do them. I, honestly, I would like to try stand up one day. Yeah, and I think I could kind of just. You, I mean, you do have that very Larry David esque. The only problem is it it almost is a little like, what's the deal with airlines? I know, food, but I would never know? like. I've written a decent. But I would it, never do that for like stand up. But it is. Too. But it is also like it works for a reason because people do like. Yeah. Like yeah, that's fucking right. That relatability is you know why why Seinfeld and and uh, Curb like work so well. Do but you know, I, I don't you know, know what Jackie told me yesterday. I'm so not relatable. I heard her say that. Yeah, but, she's not. Relatable. But she, uh, she said I'm not. She he, she no no because I know you, huh. you 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 started the show with it and I I listened to it this morning in the shower and I do I see like both sides of it. Um, you said something like disgusting and and like and uh, fuck what was it? I think it's about how my, I have a cavity and I like chewing on that side of my mouth. Yes, mind. yeah, yeah. He yeah. Feels like I'm scratching an itch. Right. He, no. You, but what you said was make sure that you uh, eat a bunch of sour patch kids, fall asleep with them, so that you're you get a cavity, and then when you get it, and it was just like this is this is the behavior of a yeah. disgusting. Well, that was creature. a joke. That, right, I right. was just telling her how to get to where I'm. But at it's right also now. what you did. Probably. Probably. Definitely. Most likely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And so <laughs> that I think is not like I don't fall asleep with candy in your mouth. Not relatable. I don't want to live on this earth anymore. Still <laughs> a twelve foot skeleton with your boys isn't relatable. I, I think you're, you're either you are as always in this world. You are a very you're a paradox. You you make you make no sense. You're 
unreli- unrelatable and relatable all at the same time. Yeah, no, I'll take that. I'll wear it's that. Like, yeah. it's, it's almost like who you are is relatable, how you got there, super unrelatable. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you ever have yeah. a cavity and like, it, you know, it kind of hurts so good? Yeah. Have you ever done it by like eating like 45,000 jars of them <laughs> and falling asleep with it in while, you know, like while you're laying naked on the bed because you have no fucking air conditioner? Like, shit like that. It's like, what are you, what are you talking about? Uh, but that was right. funny when she's like, she's just so not relatable. <laughs> I chew, I intentionally chew with that tooth because it feels like I'm scratching an itch. What, dude? <laughs> you say so many things are just, like, not relatable. Like, I don't <laughs> <laughs> It feels so good. Speaking of surprising adjectives, while, I, while you guys were doing that interview, I was out there. I just got told by, you know, you guys know John Foley? He's the Snapchat. Yeah. He does yeah. Snapchat. He, he goes, you know, two people have come up to me this week and described you as intimidating. And I was like, what? We're getting some of that here. Nick, yeah, Hamilton Nick Hamilton is, is like upstairs. He he's say, intimidating. He, oh, he's, he's like, like Voldemort he's, up there. Yeah, he's like the bad man. He sent like one email I, being I like, like we we you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember like what your email? At said? least we have one person in this fucking group who's intimidating. Seriously, Kevin and I just get walked all over. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and I have to fly to a fucking upfront when we weren't invited to the one in our own backyard. <laughs> they invited us to the Chicago. That was crazy. Upfront. They invited us to the Chicago upfront directly after they bombed on on, on inviting us for the and, and New York one. I was like, so makes, now you want us to go to Chicago after you missed on New York as a makeup for New York? Like you're, t- it's, it, it's crazy. It makes sense because we're the only ones who would not throw a goddamn bitch fit about not being in. Part in part of the one in New York, and we're also such the pushovers. Pussies. Yeah, that'd be like fine. We'll go to Chicago <laughs> yeah. for four hours. <laughs> I remember seeing you like standing along the wall, and I was like, "Darling, I think I think you're supposed to be in the green room." <laughs> and you're like, "No, we weren't invited." I, was like, I, I, I eventually, doesn't, I eventually doesn't seem right. <laughs> it was it was so like mortifying that everybody, every single person, when yeah. you're going up, I'm not. Well, why not? I don't know. And then they would go like. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say next. I, I, you I was know, playing with Frankie and Pop Punk, and he yeah, like, Nick was he's, on stage. He's, 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 he's like, "What's the song we're playing for you guys?" I was like, "Oh, they're not going." He did the same thing. He's like, "Ugh." Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me get back to my drums. You know. You know what I wanted to do outside the upfronts for like a video was hold my own upfronts, like a personal upfront where I just like, <laughs> "You want to invest in me?" But I was like, That'd "Maybe I shouldn't do that on like a night where hundreds of million dollars are at stake." <laughs> that would be funny though on the way out. Like, <laughs> yeah, you watch what you saw <laughs> there. <laughs> Smoke shows looking. For a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Tommy Smokes, always a pleasure. Absolute um, pleasure. We'll see you at the party Friday. Is it a fish? Because Nick did, didn't know this party was happening. Where he's supposed well, to? Well, Nick be was going to be there, there, so he didn't have to be invited to the party. He was going. What be time should anyway. I get to your apartment? Eight p.m. And can you text me your address? I can. Yes. I will. I will start. I think I group, can find. Your I will apartment. have a little group text. I'll start a group text right now of yeah, people invited to the right party. Now. I love a good group text. Then okay. we could be friends in it forever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to uh, follow you. along at Tom Scabelli. What about uh, IG? Same thing? Yeah, Twitter, or Twitter, Instagram, and then TikTok is only Tommy Smokes. Tommy Smokes. All right. Good shit, man. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast. That's it.